A one? It's I have a posted the picture. Is that a ch chocolate chip cookie? Oh, yes it is. Okay, I thought for a second it might be like a like a scone with bacon, like thick just sliced bacon it looks on like top. A scone. Oh, I can do yeah. bacon. Yeah, it's because the way they they have the oven at the place I purchased this stuff in, and the different they, there's like three different versions of chocolate chips put into here. One's dark, one's milk, and one's just regular chip, but they're huge. So I can understand why you would think that from afar. I, the thing that I like about it is it looks like the chocolate chunks are running away from the edge of the cookie, like they're about to fall off. So they're all gathering <laughs> in the center for safety. There's, there's that one that's pressed up against the side, like it's about to fall the off, like on a, on a razor's edge. <laughs> for, for, for size comparison, if I ball my fist, that's how big it is. Do you want to know how much it cost me? How much? A dollar. How many calories is it? How the fuck yeah. should I know? I got it from a dollar. No, the, you find out how much, how many calories something has by burning it. So burn it. Zito. Ah, okay. You got it. Hang on. <laughs> Zito, I would like for you to ship me one of those monster cookies, please. Sure, no problem. Hold on. I got to burn this form. Would you chip me? <laughs> uh... Hi, this? everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Minus Unexpectables. 10. Burn your desserts. Burn your desserts. Burn, the okay. There's the title, Burn Your, your Desserts. <sighs> Do you know how big Zito's cookie is? Place your bets now. I mean, I could post the picture in chat. It's not like it's the worst thing in the world that oh. I could show people. Text your estimate to 1-800-UNEXPECTABLES. <laughs> Vote now with your phones. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Remember, oh, dial God. one for Zito, two for Zito minus two. Has it already been a week since we last met Brit? Yeah, this week went by fast. Uh-huh. Even when I was doing my taxes, which felt like an eternity, but you know. Here you go, chat. Here's the here's the cookie for context. Uh, mods, please ban Zito for posting a link in chat. <laughs> <laughs> Fool that you are, I am a mod. I'll ban myself. <laughs> nice. Instantly disappeared. I'll ban oh. myself, thank you very much. Hello. Wait, if I ban myself, don't... Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Requiesce, scat, and pasta. Dang. F wow, I got... <laughs> right your intro. <laughs> oh my god. Well, uh, we're back. We're back with Unexpectables. Uh, yeah. After being gone for two weeks, we're back for two weeks, which is nice. Um, and, uh, I would first like to start by saying, uh, apologies for the Twitter, uh, on April 1st, unfortunately, someone, uh, managed to hijack our Twitter, but we, uh, Connor managed to get it back. They hit my head! They hit your so head? It's all good now. How'd you survive? I'm concussed. <laughs> I've been there, I understand. <laughs> I've got shit to do. Ooh. I too Ooh. have been excited. Also, apparently in the Discord, a wave of warks took over. Uh, the moderator team was replaced by, I think, like five or six identical warks. So that was fun. Oh, oh no. But luckily, that's all over now, and we're all back to normal, which is good. With that, Connor, speaking of back to normal, do you want to take us away with some interest? Sure. Okay. Uh, welcome to the Unexpectables, everybody. We're back uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, so let's go around the horn and introduce everybody, starting with, as always, Gaijin Goomba. Where can they find you? What are you up to? You know, you can start with other people sometimes. But you're first to... Fine! <laughs> uh, hey everyone, Gaijin Goomba here. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Uh, find me twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba, no H. I might brand change that soon. I might just change it to Gim Gam. You will see. Um... New video has been dropped last weekend talking about how uh, Nobunaga is based and the other unifiers are shit. Uh, that that's a, that was a me thing. Um, new video this week, though, over on the other channel, uh, Orc explains how to talk like Orc for uh, Zog-brained Umis. It's, it's a lot more fun than it sounds. Um, aside from that, streaming, streaming, God. Ever, ever since I, I did kind of a brand switch up to like being a, a, a FPS and, and, and 3PS shooter boy, I've been getting a lot of uh, invitations to try out games. Tried out Sentry. Uh, it's good in concept, needs a little work. 
Uh, but there's a couple others that I really want to dig into, and a whole bunch just got like a bunch of updates. Uh, Hell Divers is always a thing because they keep sneaking and stuff into that, and then tell us it's not there, and then it's there, <laughs> like the cloaked ships and the flying bugs. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm I'm remaining a busy bee trying to do a whole bunch of different projects. So be sure to check them out. God damn it! I accidentally put an oath of the shitter rogue again. <laughs> <laughs> confirmed. It's confirmed. confirmed shitter. <laughs> confirmed shitter. Who next? Uh, Mark Allen Jr. Where can they find you? What are you up to? <clears throat> you can find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr. Here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. Uh, over on TikTok at Mark Allen Jr. VA. And you can find uh, the adventures of my fat sleepy cat bunny who stuck a little leggy out today on Instagram at chonk for life you want to see bunny leggy go to instagram harlot place it goes i know i i you'd think at her age she'd know better <laughs> but you know how dare she show ankle it's ridiculous i'm getting all these private messages now it's awful um to the but, fire in her. this economy <laughs> but um yeah streams have been weird uh some of you may have noticed that the last few streams have uh, had uh fundraising in mind uh life's been a little ridiculous the last couple of months uh, i'm almost past it so uh just really quick shout out to everybody who was able to support whether that was in time money or uh, uh commissioning uh, my partner lj so thank you for all of that um it's, it's helped a lot um there are not enough words to express how grateful i am so thank you um yeah other than that busy 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 week um Sunday, there might not be a three-hour music challenge uh, stream. It'll depend on how early I can wake up. Uh, I have a very busy rest of this week through Saturday, and then I have some friends coming to visit on Sunday. So um, I might just decide to sleep, and I hope you won't hold that against me. But oh, yeah. Monday, weather willing, there may be a stream of the total solar eclipse because uh, I happen to be in the direct path of totality. Uh, and a couple of my friends uh, who are astronomers are going to be coming over and we're going to try and find a good place again storms willing because it looks like there's probably going to be a severe weather event on monday so hey maybe it'll turn from a solar eclipse stream to a hey severe weather storm stream we'll see but that'll be on my channel uh i'll tweet about it if it happens otherwise that's it for me egg salad uh zito where can they find you and what are you up to? Uh, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito where I've been investing a little bit more streams into uh, VR. Uh, I I just booted up VR and then found out that there's an Uno world and just asked some people to come in and we all hated each other. It was a massacre and I love it that we did laser tag and just killed each other. It was great. And then we got better. In any case, uh, the living index is still being worked on. Version two is almost complete. But in the meantime, Gaijin can also attest to this because I asked him a couple of questions beforehand. Uh, I remembered that there's a world in the Index in the next update that's going to be about the dead. And I said, hmm, you know what would be funny? Ghosts. You know what would be funny? Yokai. What if Yokai playable races? And then I made a couple. So if you're a play tester on my Patreon, uh, there are four Yokai themed races that I made. One of them... One of them being uh, a giant catfish dragon. I don't know if that interests someone, but I think that's I think someone will like that. It's very pudgy. It's very pudgy. And then and then I and then I drew three more example races, and then I went, oh fuck, I have three new OCs now. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. You played yourself. I played myself, but you know what? I love them. They've been filled. They filled my brain space for the all day today, and I absolutely love the hell out of these little gremlins i'll post them in chat i am always here for gremlins there you go your influence grows yeah i did thank you i mean that's that's good to know i thought it was waning for a while <laughs> but oh, the joke is oh, it's always you. waxing oh you that's me. Excellent. Uh, up next, we've got 
Edward Bosco. Where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I'm right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. I was in Minnesota, Minneapolis, to be specific for Anime Detour. And I just want to say thank you. Not to just all the Hellabun has been fans, but all the Unexpectables fans that came up and had me sign stuff. I signed my first set of Lies Dice. Uh, we got an actual Luigi board yeah. that Sarah and I used to uh, use to uh, to sign and then took a picture with from the Prince Division, which blew my mind. That was like, hilarious. I'm used to unexpectable stuff with, with Remy and people getting the print, but somebody brought us a Luigi board from Prince Division. Sarah and I have the picture. Maybe we'll throw it in the chat at some point. So that was awesome. So thank you guys for coming out and, and supporting the show all over the place. I'm going to be in Wisconsin this weekend for the Midwest Gaming Festival. I'll be doing some streams there of classic video games with my friend Bill Rogers, who's the voice of Brock in Pokemon. So I won't be doing my normal stream lineup. Uh, and then next week, I'll be in San Antonio <laughs> for oh Riverwalk. And then in, uh, what is that, three or four weeks from now, I'll be in St. Louis where I'll be teaming up with Connor to do Anime St. Louis. It's going to be great. Well, hey. Come say hi. For those of you who don't know, in uh, Prince Division, we don't have Ouija boards. They're Luigi boards in lore. They're, it's like... <laughs> so the fact that someone had, even owns that to begin with and got it signed is actually hysterical. They, they very that. much want it signed by Connor and Arkov. I was like, Connor might be at a con or something with me, so you'll have to look. Arkov's going to be the hard one. So Arkov's, yeah, know. Arkov's the tricky one, unfortunately. But maybe that'll change in the future. Rubs hands together. That only was a moves. little terrifying. Uh, well, when you're not rubbing your hands together, Monty, where can they find you? What are you up to? Uh, one second. They cannot find you. Um, sorry, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. You can also find me at Blue Sky uh, Monty Glue, um, as well as uh, YouTube at Monty Glue. I am echoing <laughs> through someone's microphone. I think I'm echoing through yours, Connor. Just a heads up. Cool. Uh, Oh my gosh, there's so much. Uh, tomorrow, um, hopefully some more Dungeon of the Mad Mage. We had Thaddeus Poop. Poof. I said poof. Oh my god. <laughs> uh -huh, poof. Uh -huh. <laughs> we had Thaddeus what? Poof uh, away. Uh, let's just say this. Um, Bertrand is slowly becoming in incidentally misogynistic, which is hilarious. Uh, anytime he fights a female character, he hits more often. And every time he fights a male character, he misses more frequently. And wow. it's, Just like it's, Zoro. It's really funny. <laughs> um, they're currently inside of a, uh, a, a, a Githyanki uh, crash right now in the astral plane. Don't ask how that even happens. Um, and they're currently dealing with dragons and they currently are doing a jailbreak. It's, it's good times all around. It's actually fantastic. Um, and then Friday, we're back doing the MSQ. We moved the Domans to Mordona, and we actually did like an RP caravan travel last stream. It was really fun. Uh, we'll be back to it. We have a bar now, so <laughs> I'm in debt forever. Um, and then on Monday, uh, unfortunately, will not be any Mass Effect as Bosco uh, is like internet famous or something or does voice acting. He gets to go to all these conventions, and so... Uh, he'll be out of town, and I will not be doing a makeup stream because I would like to finish my taxes, and that feels like a good opportunity to do so. So, unfortunately, there will not be a stream on Monday. Additionally, for those of you guys who follow me on my Discord and on Twitch, uh, I have new emotes. I have completed my, I think it was like 15 or, or 17 new emotes on my channel, so enjoy using them. I've seen people post them already, and it's very exciting. So, thank you very much for Nutcase for doing that. I'm gonna, I'm good, I'm done. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, I believe that just leaves me. Uh, and they can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Tumblr, and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, slowly making my way through. Actually, not really slowly all that more. We've only got probably a couple more sessions of God of War 2018. Ooh. I've been I've been sailing through that game 
apparently, just to, at a record speed. Uh, the combat seems up your alley. Like that, looking at the game, that seems like a like a Connor combat game. It really is. I, I cranked that bitch to the highest difficulty, and I haven't looked back. Uh, it's really pissed me off at times, but it is still a fantastic experience. Uh, but um, that's on Thursday. Uh, that's tomorrow. Uh, Friday, probably going to be playing more Among Us in Colonel Chiru's server. Uh, Saturday, uh, before Baldur's Gate, we got a month of Baldur's Gate because Gateway is taking two weeks in a row off. Uh, so, yeah, uh, we'll be playing some Lost Judgment with the one and only Edward Bosco on my channel. And then on Sundays, I'm playing more Darksiders and some friends tend to join me for that as well. It's been a, a hoot and a holler going through that, those games again. Um, also, check out my DMs Guild where I release 5th edition content uh, up to and including the Photomancer spellbook, which is currently still in production. I need to find time to work on it, but I rest assured uh it will be done uh but i believe oh wait I'll, I'll plug this one more time so the event is still ongoing uh if if you are a fan of hunt showdown you can hear me as sheriff harden in the latest update desolation's wake so if you want to, want to hear more uh voice lines and journal entries by the one and only sheriff harden uh, then log on, get your event points done, get yourself some fancy new guns, and uh, join me in the bayou. Uh, but that's enough about me. This episode of The Unexpectables is brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice. Hey, we heard you that time. You still got I, I didn't. It, it cut you out. Ah, damn it. You still got caught. <laughs> It sounded complete to me. Uh, Die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. And if you head on over to dieharddice.com, you can use the code UNEXPECTABLES to save 10% on your order. I wonder if... Yes, the Lies Aspect Dice are still sold out, but they are restocking. Don't worry. Um, as well... Uh... Check out our our spring store. We got all sorts of designs, including some ones that are uh, in development uh, that you can basically turn into whatever kind of merch you want. You got apparel, you've got accessories, you've got um, water bottles, mugs, and, and whatnot. Basically, can get turned into anything your heart's desire uh, when you head over to our store. Um, someone says, give me cast prints. Hmm. Ooh. We could, can we hmm. do prints? Uh, we'll look into it. That's, uh, yeah, that's what we're looking into. But for now, uh, we also couldn't do this week in, week out without bits and subs from Fishy wonderful shirt. viewers. You like have you. 10 minutes. I think, I think we'll be good. Uh, Burnout Vaughn, thank you for getting a tier one sub to Zymocyte. 20 BMG, thank you for the 41 months. Ran Cossack, thank you for the 48 months. Evening all, haven't been able to tune in for a bit, but me and the wife are here tonight. Best of luck to you all, and may your rolls be 20s. That Skella Bro, thank you for the 10 bits. The boys are back in town. Which one put Gaius in a gown? Uh, Gaius would rock a gown. Ha, I'm, I'm, I'm 20 years old and I'm wearing this. What's going on? <laughs> King Shinrock, thank you for the 35 months of Prime. Like Tabuya, thank you for the 48 months. Perhaps we should wait on the name a little longer. It's tax season. We don't want the IRS knowing who to look for. <laughs> oh my god, he's on the grid. Uh, Wolfwing Pup, thank you for the 11 months of Prime. Uh, who is the Emily Axford of the group? 
What? In in what way? <laughs> Who's that? I don't, yeah, I don't know who that, that is. That is a that is a player on Dimension Twenty. Oh. I think it, I may be the only one familiar, or the no, most. No, I'm familiar with that. Emily. She's actually really yeah. smart and really creative. Uh, I don't. I don't think it's smart to compare D and D players. I don't know who our equivalent would be. We all have our own thing that we do. Yeah, the only way you should yeah. compare us is if you put us in a fighting ring with swords, and whoever comes out on top is the is the, the champion. That's the best no, way to measure. That is true. <laughs> As someone with actual sword training, I would like to champion the Unexpectables, please. Um, I, I, I do Can I bring good. No, I want Zito in there. He's from New York and Unhinged. I feel like he would just go into like a barbarian rage and win. I, ta I, technically, I, I technically and legally know submission holds. Legally? Well, there you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you heard me. As opposed to the illegal ones. <laughs> there are. I know. And, no, and they could get you in prison. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Tribal Born, thank you for the seven months. Ah, yes, yeah, seven months. Much love from y'all. Uh, Shinichi Kid, thank you for the 11 months. Thanks to Probably Not a Mayor for my gift sub. H3 Zombie L, thank you for the 16 months. Lunatic Crow, thank you for the 48 months. Four years of wacky D&D &D hijinks. Uh, and that's just on this channel. Uh, Lock and Moggin, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Haven't caught you live in a while. Happy to be here again. Shadow Flare, thank you for the 48 months. Rar Hockey Dude, thank you for the 30 months. Hyped to catch the stream applying for a new job. So I may miss streams when that starts, but I'll be sure to keep up with the VODs. Yo, best hey. of luck. I know that feel. Best of luck. Stay on that grind. Cup of Squid, thank you for the 40 months of Prime. That's yellow bro. Thank you for the 10 bits. Confirmed shitter. Unknown if he poots, though. Uh, Zeon the Old Blue Dragon. Thank you for the 41 months. Uh, Closet Quasit. Thank you for the 5 bits. The The 7. Thank you for the 100 bits. I'm listening to this while at work. Thanks for helping me through my boring day. Uh, Tribal Born. Thank you for the 1,000 bits. Oda Nobunaga, Mass Line, Ashigaru Go, Boom. Game yeah. and Anime, thank you for the 30 months. Booty Call in the Jelly Rolls, thank you for the 100 bits. Bro, what the fuck timeline are we even living in? I don't know. Great question. We're, we're, we're hurling quickly towards the dog ending, I'll say that much. Uh, Oz195, thank you for the 45 months. Zanu Kamizana, thank you for the 35 bits. Zito, I'm a playtester now. You sold me on the yokai on that alone. I also got the wedlock a while back. Oh, fuck yeah. Dude, if you get Living Index, that plus the updated version of anything else on top of that will be in there. So thank you so much for sticking in for this long, and hopefully the new stuff coming in will be to your expectations. Rare. Uh, The Real Grey Beast, thank you for the 21 months. A Broken Tabaxi, thank you for the 13 months. Finally caught you live after a year, the last time I caught up. Uh, a year since the last time and caught up. Hey. Like to Booyah, thank you for getting to get one sub to AP Saul. You've officially given 69 subs to this channel. I am. Noise. The <sighs> next goal, 420. There you go. There you go. Get on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, Trav I mean, no guard. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you for the 32 months. Uh, BTSO, thank you for the follow. Uh, just another clone, thank you for the 44 months of Prime Subbage. Good luck tonight, y'all. And finally, Morth Randor, thank you for the 123 bits. Have a good game, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. That was such a so sweet little last message there. Hey, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, you thank guys you ready so to to jump back into the uh, into Martorala and the World of Wonder like no other. Let's Let's just sun. like Brutus. Oh. I suppose so. All right. What's that? That was a half burp.
So, what's what's wrong, chat? You're acting like something happened. No, well, it's just the intro, guys. It's, it's okay. <clears throat> I guess they just really missed us. I guess, yeah. It's bizarre. One second. All right. When last we left our heroes, Otho, the shifter rogue, Kai, the human wizard, Milo, the Azamar cleric, Iskan, the lizard folk druid, and Gaius, the satyr fighter, the party has made audience with the Ocean Lords of Martorallo in relation to the Trinity Treaty, Peace Treaty specifically, and the party's claims to leadership over the country of Eastendale upon the death, two of Lynn Eastendale. After meeting with Ocean Lord Winona, Oslomir, Gusbrand Coleco, and Brutus Valentinius, Otho and Kai's estranged father, the party was found in favor by Oslomir, Winona, and Coleco, and found not in favor by Gusbrand and Brutus, with the vote not unanimous, the party was provided conditions to improve their standing, such as forming a more formal governing body, hiring adventurers to clear out a haunted fortress on the border, and other ideals. After the meeting was adjourned, the party made their way out of the chamber, overhearing a tense exchange between Ozimir and Brutus. And now, as the party stands outside in the hall, we return to the unexpectables. So, as you all stand outside of the meeting dome, more or less, uh, Otho, I believe it was you who succeeded in overhearing the conversation within. Uh, as you all kind of stand there awkwardly for a while, about 10 or so minutes pass, and you notice that you're not the only one waiting outside of the door. You see Winona's two Minotaur bodyguards currently flanking part a part of the hallway, kind of talking amongst themselves. You had met them on her ship before. Uh, you also see a few other individuals, clearly members or servants to the Ocean Lords, kind of waiting idly, maybe taking this time to read a book or write down some notes or just discuss. Huh. Well, at least we've got an idea of what we need to get going on. Yes, I believe the Ocean Lord's requests were all very reasonable. How much venom is in that statement? <laughs> <laughs> Just like slouched over, fist balled, and shaking, mouth bitten over. It's, like, <laughs> it's the Arthur oh. fist. Meme, but it's Otho. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> Acknowledge me, Dad. Breaks his toy airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Notice me. No. Oh. As you all uh, kind of. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Otho's expression right now is just sort of overly neutral i i guess what i would describe it as mm. how's kai doing i was just gonna have 
Uh, he's if it could be possible, he has an even blanker stare on his face. Uh, Money, what time of day is it? Uh, at this point, it's probably like mid to late afternoon. As you're all standing there, however, the double doors of the meeting hall open, and walking out with his tiny little legs, sword at his side, uh, the jingling of gemstones and jewelry, Coleco comes scuttling out. Uh, he immediately flanked by two individuals uh, who are just covered head to toe, almost like you, Escan. They're covered with rolled up pieces of paper. You see like a bunch of like inkwells and things like they're basically like bandoliers of quills and they kind of walk <laughs> up next to him. However, he doesn't leave. He actually walks up in front of all of you and kind of taps his fingers together and goes, it wasn't the most fruitful meeting for you. I do apologize, but you have my vote of confidence. That being said, of course, while we can't acknowledge you as leaders, nor can we talk in regards to the Trinity Treaty until all parties have been notified, I would like to talk to you about potential trade. Eastgen will kind of look around at the group and then sort of remember that that's supposed to be his department, so he'll step forward. Hmm. Uh, what did you have in mind? I note that Eastern Vale has many mines up in the mountains that which now remain assumedly empty. Perhaps there may be undead there. I thought perhaps I could uh, wage a deal with you, maybe. We could talk about it in more formal capacities when you have maybe some more time. No doubt the undead creatures would enjoy such a dank and dark place to find their own, but I have many able men who would be able to mine the resources there, and perhaps we could come to some sort of fruitful relationship. Uh, well, that would definitely have to be a meeting we have uh, to discuss the details later. I, but it would be best if we had a seal from you in order to communicate. Of course, of course. He snaps a finger and, like, without hesitation, one of his, like, scribes just hands him a seal and he hands it off to you. Send me a letter with this. Aye, thank you. And I pass it to the East Can. <laughs> Notify the current queen as well. She should be privy to such details, but um, perhaps not explain such details to the other ocean lords. They might think I'm overstepping. They tend to assume very much of my business. Can I insight that? I want to insight yeah. the fuck out of this. Go for that, yeah. That's scary. <laughs> Twenty-four. I, I I just want him to turn around and go. I kill fitty man. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's an eleven. <sighs> um. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> nice. Uh, eleven. Damn. You guys, you... I'm so good at business. You have no idea. E Escan and Gaius, like you're just watching his like antenna. They keep moving around. It's really distracting. You're like, oh, fuck, pick, how the fuck? How the fuck does this work? <laughs> Milo, mm -hmm. uh, your knowledge of specifically of this guy is that he is clearly trying to jump on a specific opportunity. You're not sure what the details are, but he seems to be kind of jumping the gun to ensure some sort of like probably lucrative venue. Um, perhaps mm. even stealing it away from the other ocean lords. It, it's a bit of a power grab. That's the energy that you're getting a little bit. Yeah. Uh, also, Lord Kaleko, if I may. If, if, if I might. You may. Oh, you sleaze bad. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and don't take this as being too presumptuous, but how often do you butt heads? Do, do you personally and financially, eyebrow wiggle, uh, butt heads with the other ocean lords? Financially, never. Uh, they don't particularly enjoy how I do my business. I do not barter in anything illegal, but it might as well be with the way that they squeak and squawk sometimes. I just like to make sure I got my my fingers. He like reaches up his like bug fingers. My fingers on the pulse of a um, veritable well of resources. My pointy dagger like fingies. He's got those fingers. <laughs> As I'm sure you're aware, traveling through these lands, Martorallo lacks in particular resources, but we also excel in other ones. Hmm. It's interesting to say that, because um, when it comes to Eastern Vale, 
we do like to think of us as a, a, a land of diversity, which means there are a lot of different kinds of people that are desperately wanting to come live in our country with all different kinds of uh, strengths, if you catch my drift. Then you would not be remiss to perhaps make an agreement with me. I'd be assured to get you people from the far off reaches of the world. Matarallo is a lucrative port town after all, and there are those with very particular skills and experiences who would be useful to you. Why even your vaunted outsider came here on a boat, and you know how useful he can be. Mo uh, slowly nods. Ha uh ha! -huh. So the outsider is not an Athel native, is what he's implying. Uh, you mean, um, or... Alton. Alton. Alton, Alton, yeah. Right. But not a native is, of Alton. That is why he is known as the outsider, because he is an outsider to all places, or so he claims. Thus his moniker. My theory... It's holding water. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say above game, we need to start doing some research on our own uh, national resources gang. <laughs> I mean, we were trying not to with, with what time did we time. have for that, though? Yeah. Oh, no, I'm aware. It's just mm, we should probably put this on the docket before this bug comes in and takes it from us. Well, we are yeah. meeting with the outsider after this. Yeah, yeah that's, that's literally where we're going next. So yeah. that's good information not, to take into it. Not that any formal agreement will be mm -hmm. done, but... I could provide you with mercenaries that you could hire for particular issues you may find. I have quite the network of adventurers, not too dissimilar to yourselves. In exchange, perhaps you could um, open up these mines that allows for some more foreign workers to come in and collect, perhaps as a fee for these offerings. It's simply an idea, but I would ask that you kindly ponder it for some time. I well. I can certainly promise you that we'll consider it, but of course we can't make a decision without discussing it with the Queen, as you suggested. Indeed, indeed. Assuming she doesn't drop dead at any moment. <laughs> that is a joke. I am joking. <laughs> we all nervously look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds later, Gaius points. I get it. <laughs> Ironically, like Eastman is not concerned because we've already seen that she can't drop dead, so... <laughs> if I might make additional advice. We're always happy to hear suggestions. I have rumors that the Cape Keep in the southeastern region of Eastonville is home to a bone dragon. Oh. Did we know that already? I think we did. Yeah, I think we did. Actually, we are privy to these rumors. That's the well, one. That we actually, they're not. Avoid, actually, they're not rumors. Right? I think Lynn told us that actually. And we That's also, we also got more information about uh, Wormtongue trying to get, trying to make more bone dragons as well. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. Cool. Oh yeah, from bones that that he is gathering in Martorello. Mm -hmm. Right. Not that I wish to dissuade you from clearing out Stand Fortress, by all means. That will definitely, perhaps, impress Gus Brent. But Cape Keep is nestled on a rather prominent trade route for Matarallo and Hearthlin. If you were able to also dispatch the creatures there, while it may not earn you favor with the Ocean Lords, I assure you it will prove lucrative and perhaps improve your standing with Hearthlin and Matarallo as a whole. Just some food for your mandibles. Your wisdom is appreciated, Lord. And it is always available if you wish to counsel for it. Anyway, I must be off. I must speak with another trade vessel. Some cargo ships came in today and they require my attention. Take care. And you watch as he begins to scuttle off with his two scribes behind him. I hope we'll give him a big formal bow. As you look behind yourself, you certainly you currently see Winona being like princess carried by one of the Minotaurs. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> she kind of like the Minotaurs slowly walk past you. Do you guys say anything? We Troy. are so sorry. Don't talk to me right now. I'm mad at you. Okay. That's sorry. Fair. And you watch as one of the Minotaurs just like, I have some ginger. And she's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I don't we, want sick people food. <laughs> we know 
we know that she like it's a it's some sort of supernatural like you're not you are not sure at all can i like try and lesser restoration her yeah you can try i'm gonna try and lesser restoration her you kind of touch her arm and cast lesser restoration and like the green kind of disappears from her face and she's like Oh, and then it comes back immediately. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. You gave her false hope. Mm. <laughs> Perhaps as a gesture of good faith and goodwill, there should be something that we can do for Ocean Lord Odez before the next meeting. Ugh, stop being so f formal. What, you don't like gifts? This is the place for it. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, my lord. I'm gonna be more sick than I already am. Listen, if you need anything, just come to my boat. On the okay. water. Where everything is right. <laughs> and I have to, don't have to deal with old men and land. Her entire face like, scrunches <laughs> up. <laughs> Banana cat. Yeah, a hundred percent banana cat. The minotaurs kind of all kind of nod towards the rest of you, and they begin to just take her out because they're like, "She needs to leave. She's she's sick." Yeah. Uh, Gusbrin makes his way out. He kind of he has that awkward look of just like you know he nods at you all, but there's also that sort of feeling of like I didn't vote for you. I'm sorry, but like you know. <laughs> yeah. Got no like, ill will. No no ill will no. towards him. Is there's like, no, there, no, there's ill will. I want him to know that he just made the list. <laughs> is, he, is he dodging our gazes, or is he just like hurrying off? He's doing. As he he's doing. Okay, this is gonna be so bad. You know when a white person crosses the street and they do that <laughs> nod and then that shuffle run. Yep. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he does that to you guys. He does like a nod and then a bit of like a hurried shuffle run. Can I incite that? Ah, <laughs> uh, sure. Go for it. Yeah, I just want to check to see if he's, like, embarrassed or if there's something deeper to that avoiding us. Because he was pretty cordial with us when we first met he him. He but... was, yeah, he seemed to be yeah. on our side. We got... sure also, is our... my... am I sh still shifted? Uh, how long does the shift last? Eto, I think it's only a minute. You would not be shifted if it's only a minute. Let me check for sure yeah lasts for one minute yeah you're no longer shifted then darn it moment all right i don't have advantage on this one and that's a natural one. Oh. well <laughs> i'm gonna i'm Whoops. not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you he got a natural 20 so it's it was oh. kind of doomed to begin with uh oh wait he... that's a d6 yeah wait yeah <laughs> What? It's way easier let's to roll see. a one on a d6. Re, re, re let's, roll. let's see if I hit the 20. <laughs> I believe in you. I did not. It's a soft yeah. 20. I so. saw the 20 and I was like, he hit it! Oh, no fucking cool. way. Uh, <laughs> now, Gus Burn isn't lying to you, but he did roll a natural 20 because it, it's the difficulty to read him. You Fair get enough. the sense that um, he is, there's nothing like he's not embarrassed. He just gets the sense that, you know... It's kind of like a teacher scolding you a little bit. They don't want to, like, do it to be mean. They want to do it to make it kind of, like, you know, reality, right? So there's a bit mm, of yeah. guilt there. There's also, like, he doesn't quite know what your reaction to that is going to be. So he's just kind of, like, skirting by you before, you know, there's any sort of, you know, retaliation, I guess, if that makes well, sense. Well, I mean, obviously we, we kill stab him. him. Yeah. <laughs> we, we kill um, him. Load crossbows. Uh, fixed Where bayonets, gentlemen. Yeah. All right, I rolled a suplex. I knock an yeah. arrow. <laughs> No. Oh, uh, no. Oh, oh. Monty, those words are uh, sacred. <laughs> I know, sorry. Uh, Otho <laughs> will simply give Gus Brunt a very formal bow. He bows back to you, and then he kind of hurries on his way, immediately flanked by uh, one of his own scribes, like a young woman with glasses, who's just like, you're late for your meeting. And he's just like, I know, I know, but this business is important. And then they kind of leave. Can I do something else while he's in the room? Sure. Does yeah, Gabriella no. Dubois yeah. notice Gus Brund, and what is her reaction if She's she does? She's not there anymore. She passed you guys Fart. on the way out to leave. Yeah. 
She was probably there on official business, but was on her way out when she when you guys crossed paths. You guys were going in off. Fair direction. enough. Fair enough. Interesting question, though. Unfortunately, yeah, she's not here. Uh, as you guys are standing, however, you hear a sound of footsteps approaching as you see your father, Brutus Valentinius, make <sighs> his way out of the meeting room. Hashtag and he slowly steps up to the lot of you, kind of... His eyes rest on each and every one of you, except for Otho and Kai, for a pretty reasonably long time. Like, he kind of looks down at you, Milo. He doesn't, like, his head doesn't turn. His eyes just look down towards you and just kind of oh, stare at you okay. a little bit. And I, then his I, eyes... I, mm. Oh, go, go for it. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, like, it's just uh, probably just all the nose hairs visible. Uh. <laughs> 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 it's, it's like it's it's like the pathetic meme just looking straight up his nose <laughs> he then turns his eyes and looks at you e scan just kind of staring at you and his eyes kind of narrow a little bit as he looks at you and, uh, listen monty i don't want to be insight checking all day but can i insight check that? <laughs> go ahead i specifically want to see if that's like if it's something specific about uh like Something in his eyes is like physically upset at who I am as a being. You know what I mean? I'm my yeah. words are bad, racism but... check. I got it. You go for it. <laughs> I hate your I hate your fins. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing your personnel. I just don't like fish. I hate your scales, Ooh, lizard man. Ooh, that's that's really a good. twenty-three. Good luck, douchebag. It's the sort Thanks. of feeling of a detective looking at a police lineup, basically. Like, he is just, like, reading your faces, looking at Who you done closely. Who it? Brutus Valentinius edition. <clears throat> He's assessing you very closely with his eyes and, like, taking in every detail. So there's As not necessarily anything in particular about me that is causing him to frown more? Not that you can ascertain with just his glance, okay. unfortunately. Fair enough. He looks at you for a while, and then his eyes wander to you, Gaius. And you see his brow slightly raise up a little bit looking at you, Gaius. Uh, Monty, you've played Final Fantasy X, correct? Yes. I'd like you to imagine when uh, Kamari's douchebag friends show up. Yeah. But yeah. It's, that, it's, it's that, but with social distancing space. Gotcha. <laughs> he kind of raises nice the brow. Pull. And looks down at you, and then he's he I, he closes his eyes and looks towards you, Otho and Kai, and he goes, "Where's your mother?" <laughs> wow. Oh God, I'm trying so hard. Don't say it, boss. Oh, say it. Don't fuck. say it. Why must you push the button? Can fuck. I? Okay, well that's okay. new information. Can that I insight very... that? <laughs> sure. Just put all the other stats away. Today is insight day. <laughs> 15? I really need bigger insight. Uh, Kai, are you also going to insight? You're going to ride it? Nope. You can't uh, read Kai already man. knows and thinks what he wants to think. I'm not going to let the dice decide it. You can't read him out, though. He's being firm and direct. We don't know. If you find out where she's gone, let me know. God! Kai is vibrating at the speed of light. I, I just so I want to say so much, and I'm trying so hard as a role player not to fucking do it. His lower lip kind of twitches ever so slightly. And then his head turns towards the exit. He puts the hand on the hilt of his sword, and he walks away. Okay, Father. as he's walking away, I'm going to say it. Fuck it. Um, oh, no. At, as he's walking away, Kai will simply turn around and say, Will you actually go looking for her? He stops in his tracks, and he, like, turns, where you can only kind of see, like, he doesn't turn his body, but he turns his head, and you can just see his eye piercing over his shoulder, and he goes, Your mother is conspiring with a well-known criminal. She must needs be brought to justice. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> and he turns back forward and begins to leave. 
as you're all looking, you hear a heavy sigh behind you. I'll turn around to see who it is. Yeah, turn yeah. around. It is Ozlemir. Uh, he's currently fixing his disheveled hair because he looks like it, the stress has kind of ruined it. And he kind of places his cane on the ground and kind of leans on it and goes, that could have gone a lot worse. I didn't expect the majority. Winona would always be on your side. To be honest, Eastonville could be on fire and she would be on your side. <laughs> Coleco sees money. And personally, I trust Lynn's judgment. Unfortunately, Gus Brun has the right of it. I think I'm with him. You need someone who's a more formal government. Not that I discredit your efforts by any means. And he kind of looks at you, Eastcan, a little bit. You're all very intelli intelligent individuals with great resources behind you. But, and please do not take this as insult. It feels as though your time is better spent helping Lynn with her endeavors. Considering the changes that has caused, it makes only sense. It might be best to leave the paperwork to people who are less adventurous. Well, see, I was about... Oh, sorry. No, go on, Master. Uh, right uh, uh, I was about to say, do you have any suggestions on, on people we might be able to find who could help us in that light? <sighs> that is difficult to say. I'm sure in your travels you'll find individuals who might be interested... I mean, there are people who fight tooth and nail for a promotion to a higher position in a pre-existing court. However, you're going to have to really make it appealing for those who might find themselves in a higher position. In all fairness, Ocean Lord, you might see how that presents us with a bit of a catch-22. Indeed. But, unfortunately, that is the hurdle that which you must over overtake. I wasn't saying it's going to be easy, but it is something you need to figure out. It's difficult for me to just simply tell you, figure it out, of course, but your circumstances are very unique, to say the least. Well, we do appreciate you at least taking the time to hear us out. Indeed. It is a worthy expenditure of our time. I do have to apologize, Otho and Kai, but your father's attendance is necessary for such a meeting. I understand. However, the goals provided, I think, are understandable. The Sand Fortress is a bit of an issue. There's also the notion of the toll bridge that you set up in our own country. To be fair, Lord Harland, we did not set it up. The goblins merely got the idea from us. Speaking of which, I had a proposition for you. I... You seem to put a lot of trust in these individuals. His eyes narrows at that statement. <laughs> Perhaps upon the liberation of Stan Fortress, they would make a better garrison. Perhaps. I don't despise this idea. Perhaps instead of Stan Fortress, it's Jarn Fortress. <laughs> It's just simply a thought. You would have to figure out the notions, but I don't think anyone in Martorolo would be too displeased if you take some goblins off of our hands. And to be fair, I feel like they would at least give us a little bit more of a uh, hearsay than any anyone official from Martorolo. True. That is true. E Eason Vale is the land of new beginnings. Indeed, and that is certainly its best-selling point. I feel like that alone is enough to perhaps spark some interest. Speaking of interests, I would perhaps advise not bringing on anyone from Athol for the time being until such time as you make communications to whoever is in charge there. We have not sent anyone in to look into those affairs, and I feel as though we are setting ourselves up for a dangerous failure if we don't. But I am genuinely curious to what you know about the current state of Athol, and if you find out more, if you could provide more information to us. I think that would prove quite the boon between our two nations and would certainly put you more in our favor. We do have information, and we do have investigations that are currently ongoing. However, uh, he just looks around at the room for this full of people. I feel like those correspondence are best discussed privately. Indeed. Perhaps you... after your investigation concludes, we can have a meeting about these affairs. Quite. Otha, when you were looking around, you would have caught an odd expression from Iskan at 
uh, your comment to Harlan. Um, additionally, um, for you two, and he looks towards Otho and Kai again, I had requested that the wizard under my employ, who is currently foreseeing the security of your house, um, if there's anything you need or want from your home, I could see to collecting it for you, but I would ask formally that you remain outside of the walls, if you don't mind. Just look to Kai in acknowledgement, like, see? Kai will fold his hands. <laughs> now you have to get it. Kai, you know why I have to get it. No, I don't, because I can get it. Or are you afraid I might run into him? He kind of looks around the room, and no one's really paying attention to the conversation, but Ozdemir kind of looks towards you, and he very seriously says, yes, I'm afraid if you run into him. I don't know what he will do. And I don't care. But fine. But, but I play. do. I'll and your mother you. does too. Ooh. 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 That's Ooh. when Kai will drop his head. Ooh. Hmm. Ozimir kind of looks uh. to where Brutus left and looks back and goes, Did he ask you where your mother was? He did, yes. If you find out, do not tell him. Yeah, no kidding. <clears throat> Apologies. I feel as though I'm alienating your allies here. You did well, though I might recommend next time, when we quarrel, let us govern ourselves, Otho. Your efforts, unfortunately, um, were not exactly appropriate, but the rest of your conversation was quite excellent. You're very eloquent. You take after your mother quite significantly. Uh, on that note, should we be worried about you? Kind mm -hmm. of hint. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, well, okay. <laughs> Let me back up. Um, should, be, should we be worried about the state of the ocean lords? Oh, no, we bicker and quarrel all the time. I mean, a sword fight or two breaks out occasionally, but it's simply a matter of politics for us. That's a little bit of sword play against friends. Holds axe, looks down at my <laughs> uh... <laughs> The Ocean Lord before Winona was prone to start fights. To be honest, as much as Winona is not exactly excelled in the art of meetings, though it's not her fault, she seems to have um, an affliction that makes the land a little bit un a little cumbersome for her. Um, her previous Ca ancestor, or rather, person of power, was very prone to causing great conflict in Sparks. How long has Winona been Ocean Lord? She has been Ocean Lord for about... That was out of character, but... See. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's in character now. Go with it. <laughs> sorry. Uh, how long has she been in power? Did I write that down? She's been in power for several years, but she's like... Because she's 20... How old is she? Lord drop. Write this down, write this down. Oh, I didn't write down her age. <laughs> Damn it! It's just a um, note you know how old she you is. You know how old she is? <laughs> you know who. She's, she's in her early 20s. Um, Ozimir kind of strokes his chain and goes, I believe she technically has been Ocean Lord for around, I want to say, five years. She was quite young. Um, however, she didn't really step up formally until she was about 17 years old. I believe she killed the previous Ocean Lord when she was around 15. Though granted, she didn't kill them. Um, Fade and Foldus, the Dragon Turtle, um, ate his ship, to be put bluntly, and in doing so, killed the Ocean Lord. Um, it wasn't until um, the sword was identified that Winona was then named Ocean Lord. So it's a bit difficult to quite place a date on it. Is, is that how it works? If I was about to say! this to an act of nature, you just assume the mantle? No, whoever, whoever has, has the sword. The sword is leader, yes. Does it matter how one gets the sword? Nope. Damn, I've confusing. explained all this before, I believe. Uh, Moderalo is... Kind of... Sorry, go ahead. 
Moderalo is in many senses a meritocracy. If you have the sword, you deserve it. If you Eastkin's lose the sword, you don't eye. deserve it. Eskin's going to catch eyes with Milo, and in a moment when Harlan is maybe not looking so closely, he's going to kind of, like, flop his head crest in the shape of the hat that Jackson was wearing. Uh-huh. <laughs> And then kind of just make it look like he's just sort of messing with his fin. Roll. Oh, God. Deception. Oh, no, Oslamir, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's an eight. Okay. Technically, it meets, but I'm going to play to your favor because Osmir rolled like shit. <laughs> Osmir kind of looks at you, Eskan, and goes, What are you doing? Oh, sorry. I'm not used to all the salt in the air. Hmm. He kind of cocks his head and he looks back towards you both, though. I digress. If there's anything you need of me, you may send me a letter. And he kind of looks and goes, oh, I don't need to give you a seal. Lynn already has my seal, so. Of course, Lord Holland. And if there's anything you need of me immediately, you may speak to my guards at the front and they should be able to notify me. Or if you see Winterwit... That would be a much quicker way of getting a message to me, as he is my familiar. Cool yes, we'll be contacting you shortly about retrieving our effects from House Valentinius, but for the moment, I don't believe there's anything else we need. Do you need the address to where um, the outsider is staying, or are you aware of the estate? Of We could use that. Being, being a courtier, would I be aware of where this man lives? History with advantage. History with advantage. Uh, oh. 21 or 21? 25. 25. Yeah, you've been to several of these parties in your youth. Your mother went to them several times. You know the house. Like, you've, you've, it's like when you've driven to the same place multiple times, like, you just kind of know. Uh, I am familiar uh, with the location of Strongmore Manor, actually. Ah, oh, okay. Excellent. Good. He's a fine man. Give him my regards, if you don't mind. Of course. Anyway, I should be off. If you have any need of me, know that I am here. Unless I'm at sea, which happens occasionally. Let me know if there's anything you need. He gives a very, very polite bow, and he begins to make his way with his walking cane. As he begins to walk, you see kind of flying out from one of the other halls is his familiar winter wit that lands on his shoulders, and he continues on his way. Oh, I didn't even clock that winter wit wasn't even in the meeting. Mm -hmm. No, winter wit wasn't there. Not on mm. in. Didn't we actually either hear or see that happen? You guys arrived first, and the Ocean Lords arrived after, so you didn't actually see who their entourage was until you uh. left. So, yeah. But it seems very clear that, yeah, only the Ocean Lords and you and the Scribe enter, and mm. only you and the Ocean Lords and the Scribe leave. Interestingly enough, uh, Brutus had nobody there. He left. He came and left on his own. Have we seen the Scribe leave yet? No, you have not. I would like to wait until the scribe leaves. Okay. Do you guys want to, everybody else want to wait until the scribe leaves? I mean, I mean if you're going to wait for that, I'm just going to have Gaius poke around and see other, like, warrior types around the joint. Do it. <sighs> All right. As you, uh, go for, go ahead for me and roll a perception check for me, Gaius. Sure thing. Lev. 11. Unfortunately for you, the majority of people here are, like, huge nerds. Like, just, like, bureaucratic <laughs> dweebs. Damn. With their long robes, their lack of weapons, and their pens and paper, and their abacuses, and their, their math. Ugh. Gross. My desire um, to throw a dodgeball is growing. <laughs> <laughs> You don't see anyone who you recognize as sharing at least a similar martial path. Like, this is not Delvaria by any means. 
You do, however, see a few individuals bearing like rapiers and daggers. That seems to be kind of the favored weapon here and like sabers and swords, similar to Otho. But that seems to be the maximum of the individuals here. There seems to be a sort of martial finesse here. Right. Um, unfortunately, nobody who really stands out to you. Even uh, even that woman, I believe her name was Gabriella. Gabriella uh, Dubois. Yeah, Dubois. She the Barracuda. She like, despite her name and her title, like, she carried herself like a badass. But even she, just at her side, had a rapier and a dagger. Like these weapons that aren't super kind of big. Right. I but, am the most barbaric person in this entire fucking building. You are, yeah. Like, oh, however, shit. however, Winona's bodyguards were definitely like the meat cakes, like the, the slabs of beef for a while, but once they left, aye, aye, aye. that kind of went to you. About 20 minutes passes, and the scribe exits out and has just an absolute stack of paper. Your guys' meeting kind of uh, compiled into one sort of way. And he kind of goes, oh, oh, hello there. I didn't expect you to still be here. Did you forget something inside? Um, actually, no. I uh, had a bit of a request for you. But a moment. Hold on. And he pulls out underneath his jacket like a whistle and blows it. And he watches three assistants come by and like grab the paper. He goes, file that under um, international deliberations please and they take the files and they they walk away with them and he kind of like dusts off his front his fingers are covered in ink he's kind of got his his kind of like his hand looks sweaty but no no other part of his body looks sweaty because the hand was the muscle that was working uh, and he kind of adjusts his glasses does the old man crosses the hands behind the back and leans forward towards you and goes now sorry apologies what were you saying uh well, actually, it relates to your records of that meeting. Um, as you said, it being international uh, interrelations, uh, I was wondering if we might be able to receive a copy of the note of the... Uh, oh, my God. Brain. Give me the word. Transcript. Thank you. Uh, of the transcript of the meeting. Oh, um, I could do that. However, that will cost a bit of a fee to do so. Uh, of course. Uh, ten gold would be the cost of a reparation, and also I would need an official um, a request from Queen of Eastonville, because I believe she's currently in power. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, do we have, as, as appointed stewards, do we have the power to make those requests on her behalf, or do we have to have her like, I mean, you official could, writ? You could ask him. Okay, I'll ask that. <laughs> uh, how do you ask? <clears throat> uh, as we are the appointed stewards of the country of Eastonvale, assigned to work on such tasks on behalf of the Queen, uh, would we be able to receive those with our own signature, or would you require it from the Queen herself? I would need the request formally from the Queen herself. Um, this is to avoid conspiracy, unfortunately. If you, you were the current, have... <laughs> if you were the current approved rulers of Eastendale, I could get that done for you right now. But unfortunately, that does not seem to be the case. So unfortunately, you do not have the jurisdiction nor the permissions to do so. I duly apologize, but that is the way it must be done. If I pay the fee while we are still in the city, could you have that sent to the queen directly rather than it transferring into our hands? Yes. As soon um, as you get the seal, of course. Yes, I would require a, a letter of approval and request, but if you wish to pay for the fee now, we can jot it down, as you are essentially a coin master or such, paying it down. Uh, I will hand him ten gold. Thank you very much. He does, he pulls out his whistle and, like, presses a, like a, you know, like a sort of hole in it and makes a different noise, and a different steward runs up and takes the money, and he goes, uh, file that and, uh, under International Relations, Eastern Vale, request for the service on this date of and he kind of explains it to them and they kind of nod and they jot it down and they run off it has also, been done. just because these specifics might matter um it is actually one platinum because i don't have 10 loose gold on me so totally works yeah have you any other inquiries uh he'll look around at the rest of the group milo shrugs i i Think that might be it. Thank you. Of course, of course. Very good meeting. You are very impressive for being so young. You should take some pride in that, but enjoy a nice drink and perhaps some rest. Anyway, I should be off. I have another meeting in about an hour. And you watch as he kind of scuttles off, not too dissimilar to Coleco. 
Um, but you can't really see his legs because he's wearing these big robes. I, I think Zito will get this. Zito? Yeah. Uh, strong... Oh, God. Uh, strong Numo vibes from Tactics. Oh, fuck yeah! <laughs> very, very strong Numo vibes from Tactics. Oh, dude, I also get, like, uh... I get the, the the King of Hearts from uh, Alice in Wonderland. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Disney version, the animated one. I was like, you have to be more specific. I had to be more specific. <laughs> Unfortunately. Yeah, like, oh, oh, right. I have to. Unfucking fortunately, the Mary mm -hmm. Blair good one. <laughs> All right. However, as you're left with no one else really in the hallway except for the odd scribe currently doing busy work, what would you guys like to do? Go see the outside. Yeah. Why did I fucking turn into a guard from <laughs> from Winterhold for that? What the Is fuck it, was that? That slipped out of my mouth without outsider. me knowing. Before you can enter our town, you'll need to see the outsider. I will belong to the north. <laughs> as you as you make your way to the hidden docks beneath Pinnacle Rock, the ferryman who took you in is waiting there. He's currently reading a book. Um, and he kind of very quickly folds it and puts it into his breast pocket and ferries you guys back to town. Kind of gives a nod and goes, have a good day, my good friends. You as well. Gaius, you have a... You have the Sending Stone, right? I sure do. Iskan's gonna look to you as we uh, disembark the boat. Hey. Uh, by yeah. any chance, could you send a message back to see if Lynn can send a letter by bird? Sure, one moment. <laughs> Kneel down, Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say in the Sending Stone? It has to be 30 words, right? 27. Uh, 27. We, uh, we had our meeting. Uh, we requested transcripts. Need approval with your signature. <laughs> okay. You send that? Yeah. You get a response. Uh, hi, it's Rebu. At the castle. I can let Lynn know. When did you get a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> Hope to hear from you soon. A uh, dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that. <laughs> huh. Well, Back funny. Well, well, funny story, and cuts off because twenty-seven <laughs> words. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just turns around and looks at you after that whole exchange. Thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, thanks. <laughs> All right. We may now proceed. We may now proceed. Uh, Otho. Yes. Lord Lannon Strongmore, uh, he obviously resides uh, in Ocean's Pinnacle. Um, not at the top, because that's where the Ocean Lords reside, but further down to the bottom. Uh, I'm assuming you guys take, like, a cart to get there, or a wagon, or do you guys walk? Is time of the essence, or...? It's, it's like, 4 p.m. right now. Let's take a leisurely stroll. It would fuck it. it why it not? Takes like, mm -hmm. like a couple hours, right? Oh, well, it probably would be like a thirty-minute walk, probably. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. nothing. Yeah. Because because you're at the base of Pinnacle Rock on sort of the southern side, and you basically go to the northern part. Sure. But that's, it's a pleasant yeah. walk. Uh, people are kind of running about for the night. Some people are just trying to, you know, sell their wares. Eventually, you hit the more richer district where you see people kind of walking in and out of shops. Uh, you see, like, kids running through the streets, the gulls kind of cawing and congregating on one building. There's a shopkeep with a broom. It's like, get out of here! To these, like, the, the, all these seagulls, like, 20 seagulls on his roof, just screaming endlessly. Oh, jeez. Eventually, I love, I as love you all... As you make your way up Pinnacle Rock, you begin to see uh, the ocean's pinnacle. You see large, opulent wagons... 
uh, horses being tended to by servants, but eventually find yourself uh, in front of Lord Lynn and Strongmore's Manor, the Strongmore Manor specifically, a rather large, boxy building, um, multi-floored, very, very large. Uh, compared even to Ozmir Harland and your own house, Otho and Kai, this is a very opulent, you know, very French-like mansion. There are hedge cuttings of various beasts in the front lawn. Like, there's one of an owlbear. There's another one of what seems to be a giant octopus. It is rather, rather nice. I think Otho, up to this point, has just been sort of... ignoring everything around him just sort of tunnel visioning on just trying to get to this place. As we're getting closer, Kai will take off the robe that you gave him and kind of just fold it up and toss it at you. An interesting detail um, I didn't point out is when you guys left the anti-magic circle, it actually took a couple minutes before all your stuff came back. So there was a bit of a delay for the power to come back. Damn. Yeah. Wow. That's huh. Also, I'm just gonna dig between the earth now. <laughs> just gonna look at his hands. What is this power? <laughs> I'm just gonna make a dexterity check for Otho. And yeah, he catches the rub. Kai doesn't even look like he really was paying attention when he tossed it to you. He just knew that he had to give it back. I think Otho will just slowly put the uh, <clears throat> keep forgetting what this friggin' thing is called. Robe of many. The fashions. yes, the robe the, of looking the cloak, good. the cloak of many fashions. Are you guys all right? No, Milo, we are not okay. I'm sorry. Well, we got work to do, so we're going to do it. Where's this guy's house again? It's just up this way. Kyle, just start walking. I think Otho will, at the same time, pretty much just continue walking as well. As you find yourself in front of the gilded gates of this mansion, you see it framed by two opulent looking knights wearing rose gold armor with like a yellow trim they're holding very regal looking spears with a rose sort of motif embellished on the weapons oh guys is like fucking <laughs> salivating over this armor like oh this fucking rolls oh. oh no this kicks ass <laughs> oh my god armor oh my god blowish <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. Holy fuck. <laughs> Remember that time we went to Monterolo? <laughs> Language, Peter. So if you're our ocean lords, why is only like one of you on the ocean? <laughs> hey, 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 Bilo, you want to go to the clam? <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right. So what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> no, so, this was all in character. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> so there, these these two guards. There, we. I'm assuming we catch their attention. They kind of notice you, but they keep their eyes forward as they're probably intended to do. You approach. Yeah, I will. I will approach, and before they do like the whole crossing the halberds and denying us entry, I will uh, already be pulling out the uh, missive that we got from How Strongmore. The guards kind of like you beat me before the punch. They were absolutely going to do that. You caught me. Um, the guards like are about to. Do, oh, they're standing on business right now. He is not entertaining any frivol frivolity. Yeah, the one of the guards like kind of holsters his spear and then steps forward and checks the letter. He then walks over to like the interesting thing about this this mansion is framed by a giant hedge, 
However, it's just ivy. Like it's all carved ivy that's on like a like on a wall, and it's a very tall wall as well. However, you watch as this guard reaches his arm into the hedge, like into the ivy wall, and it disappears. And you see him like do a gesture, and you hear the ringing of a bell coming from the other side of the wall. And you see very promptly, like not running, but doing again the, the fast walk. Um, you see a rather tall, prim and proper butler. He's got his his head is a triangle. Like his head is a triangle. <laughs> Whoa! Pointed chin. Like, like an upside down triangle. Yeah, like an upside down triangle. Uh, and he's got like a tiny little mustache, like underneath his nose that points down, like directly down. It kind of covers his his lip ever so slightly. Uh, black slicked back hair, monocle. And like the attire, he's got like the poofy sleeves, poofy neck thing, um, and like slacks with pointed shoes at the bottom and like tights, and it's all like black and gold. Bro, this is Zach Hadel character. Uh, and as he approaches the gate, the gate opens, and this butler walks out and goes, "Oh uh, yes, I believe you're here to see the outsider." Yes, you are correct, sir. I'll take you to them. He's currently speaking with my master in the garden. Lovely. Thank you, sir. As for the other one, I don't know what they're doing, but as long as they refrain from digging holes anymore, it should be fine. <laughs> oh, so it's sort of like a single trickle of sweat just down the, <laughs> the side of the cheek. As you walk through the garden, you see that there's fountains with, like, fish. There's like a fountain that has also an octopus and there's like a like it's almost like a gallery of these well carved plants. There's again, there's a owlbear, there's an octopus. As you pass by, there's a dragon, a bronze dragon carved in the plant. You also see what appears to be a pegasus. It's very extra. You also there's lots of ground space here. Like there's a lot of like open field with various pathways. Uh, Otho, you know that this is just a prime party hosting spot. Like, there's so much space to invite tons of people. And you've seen these areas filled with chairs and tables to accommodate guests during, you know, different sort of soirees and meetings. I haven't been here before, have I? Oh, yeah, you have. Absolutely, you have. Oh, you haven't well, been then... here in its state because you're used to it being filled with, like, a bunch of rich people and, like, ocean lords. But it's currently, you know, it's kind of like going to a event hall where there's nothing going on, like nothing's out, but it's still pretty <laughs> to look at. feels so vacant. Yeah, it feels very <laughs> vacant. I knew Martorolo was a richer country, but I didn't know one person could hold so much land here. Eh, I've seen bigger. Have you seen it inside a fence? Or, I guess in this case, a hedge. Edge, yes. Oh. Guys, uh, so. guys, points. Oddly themselves. specific, but moving on. <laughs> as I Faye. said, the <laughs> as I said, Matarallo is something of a meritocracy. People earn their fortunes here. Apparently. Plus, I'm certain that this is no different than any other city with the merchant or nobility district uh you might be surprised you scan with your yeah. passive perception as you're walking you notice on the second story of this mansion you kind of look up idly and you notice someone you don't get a look at them but you notice someone quickly close the blinds oh okay i'll note <sighs> that for later <laughs> However, it's at this point that you can hear a gregarious laughter that's not too dissimilar to you as the outsider is guffawing, as well as oh, ho, 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 kind of laugh coming from around the corner. As you turn around the corner, led by this butler, you see currently what appears to be a, I guess a maid would be the female equivalent, uh, currently serving tea to a, oh my god, how do I describe this man? Um, How's, how do I describe this man? There's so many ways to describe this Thanks, man. Um, Lord Lannon Strongmore is a... He's like a jolly, round, 
Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist. Santa? Like, yeah, he's kind of got <laughs> Santa proportions, but he's got a, like, golden hair. He's got, like, a little golden quaffed of hair on his head. He's mostly bald. He's got a uh, gold, very nice, like, fully curled mustache, like, long and curled mustache, oh, like and relaxed. a pointed beard that also curls. Uh, he's wearing sort of um, white and yellow finery. Um, however, Ooh. he seems to be in a more casual attire. Um, he's a very, like... He's a jolly looking man is the best way to put it. I, he he looks very friendly, very cordial. Um, if I were to compare it to someone, if you watch Princess and the Frog, uh, the father of the girl in the pink dress. Um, oh, I forgot his name. Ah, okay. The rich man. The rich guy, yeah. Kind of yeah. like that, but just a little stouter, a little shorter, and a lot more jolly looking. And, and... <laughs> so, so take his shoulders and put it to his gut. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Got it. Uh, and you see currently the outsider. He has his jacket off. He's just wearing a tank top. Uh, you know, still wearing his scarf over his eyes. He's got his feet kicked up on the table, and he's currently drinking what looks to be, like, some beer. It's like a big, tall glass of beer, while uh, it seems that Landon Strongmore mm. is enjoying, you know, some tea beer. instead. There's, like, a little, like, multi-tiered platter of, like, you know, cupcakes and things like that. Um, and as you approach, the outsider actually stops laughing and looks and kind of listens. He turns, he goes, I hear cloven hooves and armor and the rustling of paper. No, you didn't. Is that who I... I sure did. Guy, is that you? <laughs> yeah. Lord Landon Strongmore, I would like to introduce you to some of my new friends. Uh, they don't really have a group name just yet, but um, I'm going to point at them, but they're, I'm probably going to point at the wrong person. Um, you have Gaius, Iskan, Milo, and the brothers, Otho and Kai. I've been staying at their castle for some, some time. Did he point at the right people? No, he did not. Not at all. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Oh. I'm Milo. <laughs> <laughs> it's also really funny when he when he points towards quote unquote Milo, he just points towards the floor and completely misses you oh, entirely. Wow. Oh, oh my no! God. no! Dude, he's blind. You can't be mad. <laughs> he's saying too small. I'm not that sharp. Experience. Lord uh, Lennon Strongmore immediately sets up and goes, Oh, you've told me such tales of these individuals. I heard that they've taken over uh, Eastonville. Uh, please, my good friends, come and join us. Uh, come and enjoy some refreshments and food. Any friend of the outsider is certainly a friend of mine. Though I actually already know the young Otho and Kai Valentinius. I'm quite good uh, friends with their mother. And yes. outsider goes, Pleasure to see you again, Lord Strongmore pleasure to see you as well look at you and he stands up and he does like the uncle thing where he grabs your shoulder and kind of shakes you like look at how strong and tall you are my goodness how old are you now oh it's a matter of some debate <laughs> <laughs> some scholars point towards uh, allegedly <laughs> i believe i am 27 now Gods, I haven't seen you since you were 18. It's been so many years. I mean, your mother certainly <laughs> Has it came been that around. long? It has not, I suppose. I mean, time flies, though, certainly, certainly. And Kai, look at you. You look well-traveled and quite healthy, I must say. Physically. You're welcome to my library. I know that you're quite the fan of books. Um, but please, I, I insist, take a seat. And, and for the rest of you as well, you are no strangers. You're welcome to my home. Um, what were your names again? You were, he pointed, so I'm a little confused. He points towards you, Iskan, and goes, <laughs> you are Gaius, or were you uh, Gaius? No, I'm Iskan Sitlali. Uh, he's Gaius, and he points at Gaius. Sitlali, Sitlali, that name is familiar to me. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> are your, is our family in the uh, trade of crafts and, and goods, young man? Uh, Yes. Ah, that I am familiar. I've made some trade with the Seat Lolly family in the in the past. Very difficult. It's quite the way to travel over land, much too dangerous, and by sea, it's much too long. But uh, a pleasure, certainly, to have a fellow um, businessman at my table is always welcome. And um, this other tall fellow, then, must be Gaius. Hi. Hello. Are Hi, you a Savasian? 
satyr, or are you from elsewhere? I've never seen someone quite of your um, complexion and presentation. Do I know what that is? Uh, up to you. <laughs> Mm. Savasi and you don't know. You know what? You feel that, like that's what, I, that, that's what yeah. I meant. I was just like, do, do I know what that is? We've heard the term Savasian, though. Mm. We, uh, we know where Savas is. I know I wrote it down. Uh, like, Milo does. Years ago. Yeah. Uh, Milo, you know that Savas is north of Meadowfield, where you're from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's up north of Pesquam, Matt. Oh, is that where your friend is from, Master Gaius? Is that where you're from? <laughs> oh, oh no, I'm further up north. Oh, but I see. That would explain I... that you have a bit more of um, fur to you, which is probably quite helpful when it gets colder to the north, yes? More fey like but yes. I see, I see. Certainly quite interesting. And the outsider attempted the best efforts that he could, but I assume that you are Milo Brightbeam. <laughs> kind of like, if there was a rock to kick, he'd kick it, but, but put his <laughs> happy demeanor back on... <laughs> Oh, that's Golly. me, Milo Brightbeam. I see, I see, I see. A pleasure to meet you. And he shakes your each of your hands, and it's like it's not like a firm handshake. It's a very up and down, like joyful handshake, very friendly Aww. in nature. And you watch this before you guys like even notice. You notice that there's like <laughs> there's like five servants and and maids who come out and they place tables next to the chair and actually like grab a table extender and add that to the table and place another tray of of stacks on top. And he kind of points and goes, would you like a refreshment? We have uh, freshly squeezed juice. We have tea, if you prefer it. And if you're more of the outsider's taste, I can collect some spirits. I have some fine dwarvish spirits from some of my um, trade partners who would probably would hopefully wet the palate quite a bit. Oh, just tea for me. Tea it is. He watches like one of the maids nods and leaves, like on a fucking mission. They're like, understood. <laughs> oh, and they go. <laughs> Teal, Seal Team Six in route. <laughs> and for the rest of you, whichever uh, alcohol you think is okay. Oh, so I recall that you are a wine man, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. I do love your selection that you have. I will find you something light and quite good for the season. And he watches another butler. It's like, now I'm on a mission. And he runs off too. Divine. Oh. <laughs> Monty. <laughs> God damn you, Connor. <laughs> um, do, does the Alton region have coffee? Uh, yes. However, it's imported, but it does exist. Yes. Yummy. Okay. Uh, given the opu opulence of their company, Iskan quite boldly is going to say, I wouldn't mind having some coffee if you have some. Of course. Would you like from from Zoko? Would you like one from Tathalong, or would you like one from Ruba? He said Zoko, and Iskan's eyes just basically split his goggles with how wide they go. <laughs> Pop out <laughs> cool. of the goggles. Psh, light bulbs. <laughs> you have coffee from Zoko? Yes, I already told you I do business there. So yes, certainly I do. I also have some furniture as well from Zoko. Finely crafted stuff. Very Corinthian leather. Um, I would love some coffee from Zoko. That would be um, great. Immediately, a maid just runs. And uh, for you two, he looks towards you, Gaius and, and Milo. She, she sheepishly just holds up a finger, like he feels like he's too out of place. What he's about to say, like um, ale. Oh yes, of course, a dwarvish halfling or human ale. Surprise me. Get the dwarvish stuff. And you watch as the butler nods and runs off. Would you like oh, your boy. ale made of dwarves? <laughs> oh, boy. Or human? Uh, Kai, uh, Milo, what would you prefer? Uh, like I said, just tea. Oh, right. You already asked him. So sorry. Apologies, sir. Um, and Kai, what would you like? Uh, I'll, I'll just take some water. You got it. And you watch as immediately the other, like, maid just books it. I uh, please take a seat. I insist. Mm -hmm. Otho looks at all the maids running off and just quietly thinks, we need some of them. <laughs> yeah. Just... yeah, that's the top of the priority list. <laughs> our current maids are not cutting the mustard. I you like mean to our imagine... maid slash guard? We have I'm margarine. sorry. 
<laughs> I, I'm sorry. I just imagine you're just like, man, we could use this. And it just flash cuts to Oberth and Gherkin holding the bird's nest going, we're fathers now. This is our responsibility. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As you all take a seat, uh, the outsider leans forward and goes, oh, I'm glad you have some time. Uh, Lynn had a message for you. Aye. Apparently, she's been tracking your orb and uh, lost sight of it in Pud. Oh, yes. Uh, we actually uh, spoke with her about that already. What? What? God damn it. <laughs> he starts drinking his drink. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. We, we, we kind of cheated to get our way I, back. I see, I see. Lord Lannan, my apologies. And Lord Lannan waves hands and goes, No, no, it's fine. Oh, it's always good to have company nowadays. And the outsider kind of just shrugs and continues drinking. He kind of places the mug down and goes, uh, Lord Lannan, you don't mind if we speak business? Um, Lord Lannan is very trustworthy. We can speak freely amongst him. He's a nice man. Uh, is is <laughs> he in fact a lord? Uh, yes, he would have the title of lord. He's a baron, specifically. Okay. Baron. Okay. Yeah, he is a, he's a tin and iron baron. Or what would be considered a trade baron? Metal? Is that what, specifically? Or you could ask him. Oh. Yeah, you could <laughs> ask him. Uh, if you don't mind my curiosity, uh, on my journeys, I haven't met too many people who are even familiar with much of Zoko's going on, let alone who've traded with them. What specifically do you barter? Oh, I import various goods, um, though my specific uh, attention is to the import of ore and processed uh, metals from the dwarven countries of the Alton region, specifically. Uh, given what I know uh, of my country's history, does that make a lot of sense? Considering Zoko, it does not have a lot of metals to work with. That makes a ton of sense for him to make trade there. He probably trades stuff to them. Okay. I work with various companies in Sathelia and Chelstonia as well, to the east and south. Um, however, most of my trade comes from the small uh, dwarven nation of Ironkind, as well as the nation of... I gotta grab my maps. Notes. <laughs> I also do you know uh, where they trade. A significant, significant trade with Boulder as well. Uh, Boulder, uh, Iron Kide. I used to do trade with Aldir Harukeneth, but it blew up. So that kind of, you know, when something blows up, you can't really work with it that much anymore. Um, and I work with various trade companies in Cephalia and Chestonia who deal in other uh, unique goods, uh, sort of ferrying them around the continent to sell and trade in various locations, though most primor primarily in Matarallo to the southern front of Alton specifically. And your trade hasn't been interrupted by Gralmore? Gralmore? Oh, yes, but... Unfortunately, well, fortunately and unfortunately, we tend to uh, trade through the Quay, uh, making our way through the nation opposite to Gralmoor, specifically to avoid their affliction. The bay there, as you, I'm sure you're aware, as you are from Zoko, is quite, quite dangerous. Yes. That's why trade has been so difficult, because, well, uh, the safest routes are controlled, so... Indeed, indeed. I also do some trade with Volor, um, as well as some other trade with other nations, but most of my efforts uh, are tied to the dwarves. I've had quite a history with them, so we have quite the lucrative and uh, beneficial relationship, to say the least. Oh, it's an honor to meet your acquaintance. That's um, quite the docket. Indeed, indeed. And the outsider kind of turns. He goes, yeah, Lord Landon Strongmore has been in the business for some time. You think you'd retire eventually? And Lord Landon, like, sips his tea. He goes, oh, never. Absolutely not. What else is there for an old man to do in his, his age? I like to work the business, keep up my connections and whatnot, and enjoy some drink with some old and new friends. How did you meet the outsider, by chance? I'm very curious to see how that meeting went. Quite by chance, wolf. indeed. 
Yes, my companion is quite correct. We ran into him in the middle of a fight between some wolves. Oh, that's very on brand. And the outsider kind of chuckles at that and takes a sip. Yeah, these individuals were uh, looking for a town, and we ran into each other, and I helped guide them there. Uh, we've gone on a few adventures. We went to a, a dungeon filled with slime, and there was, like, a wizard skeleton, and there was, like, arrow shots being done and whatnot. We've been residing in Eastendale Castle, Empty and I. Uh, they've been kind enough to let us kind of use it as a base of operations for now. And Len kind of nods and goes, ha. Hmm. Yep, go for it. Speaking of which, where is Empty? Ah, oh, I believe the strange helmet person was um, with my daughter, but uh, my daughter's quite shy, so I don't know where they are. I gave them free reign of the house, but um, your guess is as good as mine. The uh -huh. outsider kind of turns and goes, I kind of gave Empty a bit of time inside of a building, trying to help, you know, hopefully make it so they are more inclined to go indoors. I figured this might be maybe a nice opportunity to do so. Probably best to ease them into it. After all, this place is big enough. It may as well be outside. I think that was the case. Not that there's anything wrong, thing wrong with the castle, but it certainly can be a bit dour. But the inside of um, Lord Landon's mansion is um, a bit of a museum of its own right. Oh, I speaking of... Um... Sir, if you don't mind me saying, we might be in the business of find, finding folks who are of our higher political position or even trade position or whatnot, or any sort of position that's looking to work in some sort of higher society field. Would you happen to have contacts in these? I could look into some contacts, yes. Are you particularly looking for a particular position? My work tends to be in foreign trade. Um, however, I do have ties to dwarvish institutions that would help with a lot of our infrastructure indeed we do have a few mines that are uh currently not being worked it's just completely mm. wow yeah <laughs> dude fuck yeah <laughs> drive drive at the prospects make calico sweat work for it a little bit <laughs> mm. Not that there's anything wrong with the human nations and their minds. I would highly advise dwarven miners, or at the very least dwarven foremen. They tend to have a very good um, feel for the rock and stone, more so than any others. Um, she said it. To the bone. Set the line. She said it. I could see if I could find anyone, anyone looking <laughs> for particular employment, though I must say I will not allow the likes of you to poach my finest dwarven co-workers, I must say. We certainly wouldn't want to take your best, but anybody, uh, honestly. What you could oh, I know the Valentinius helpful. family. They're very ambitious, that's to say the least. You have me a bit worried, young man. And he kind of jabs a finger towards you, Otho, but smiles. It's very, you know, playful. Wow. It just, All right. just Fireball. Gives, gives him the... <laughs> a danger finger. Don't Whatever you do, don't scowl. <laughs> just offers him the, the faintest smirk. Anyway, I, I, I feel as though I'm invading a bit of your, your conversation. You mentioned uh, something about a, a, a pearl, was it is? You are uh, trading in jewelry, I see. It looks around the table. Starts to sweat a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> or, uh, uh. Hmm. See, what had happened was, <laughs> who wants to feel that one? All right, you know what? And, Fuck it, I'll do it. Guys, right. wants to talk. For I'm the sake of brevity, do you guys give him like a brief overview of the situation? Because we'll yes. be here all day if we. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So in episode one, we started by. <laughs> See, in episode zero, you just had to be there. <laughs> the chickens. No! <laughs> Dear uh, God. As you explain the story, Lord Lannon Strongmore is very, like, shocked. This is a man who works in business, he does not go out and fight, you know, undead creatures. Um, and he kind of listens intently, and the outsider also kind of listens too. And there's occasional moments where you talk, and Lord Landon kind of looks towards the outsider. And as the story kind of ends, Gaius, and you tell it, Lord Landon goes, You're quite allocated at uh, to storytelling. And now it makes much more sense how you become acquainted with the outsider. It seems whenever there's adventure to be had, he, this old man seems to show up without much notice. The outsider kind of chuckles at that. 
Hmm. Strange indeed. I have competed with some of the most ruthless individuals uh, in terms of business. However, fighting against necromancers and certainly a Draco Lich is not a competition that I wish to have any stake in. But I would be lying if I did not say it is quite engaging and interesting. That being said, if you have enemies, there's no doubt that perhaps maybe they have waylaid your delivery. The outsider kind of hums. Yeah, Pud is... Pud is past Athel, correct? And Lord Lannan Starwood goes, yes, yes, of course. Um, Pud is uh, where four nations meet specifically. Uh, it is where Ironkind, Athel, uh, Savas, and Meadowfield meet. It's kind of a intersectional space. It was uh, originally built by a orc individual who wished to make a sort of crossroads camp between the three, the four nations. Um, the name was a bit of a, a misnamer because it was supposed to be pub, but uh, they made the B backwards, so now it's pud. Um, I believe <laughs> now it's under the control of a city council, um, and it's quite the hot spot for merchants, so it would make sense that your pearl would eventually find its way, making its way through there. I've heard strange rumors, though. Such as? I have heard that there's a bit of congestion in Pud at the moment, uh, perhaps a bit of um, pre-fall and winter travel, but uh, there's been a bit of um, a tie-up there occasionally. I don't know the details, of course. I specifically only uh, exchange through uh, ship shipments. <laughs> shipments! <laughs> He's genuinely I'm laughing! One. No, I know, that's what makes it great. No, That's why we're genuinely laughing. <laughs> uh, the outsider kind of turns you all and goes, so what do you think? You think you're going to make your way there? Like now? I assume probably not be good. Uh, but gosh, this beer. Sorry, he puts down the glass. <laughs> probably the need to stop now. Stuff, it's quite strong. It's, it's, it surprises you. It, it pops up. You, you drink it. It's sweet. It's nice. You drink too much of it and suddenly you're gone. You don't even think about it. My as entire upper body is warm. Should I be feeling this way? <laughs> as much as I personally wouldn't like to go back to Pod, uh, we've really got no choice. I'm curious. Um, how do you intend to make your way there? Um, the Outsider informs me that Athel is certainly in a bit of turmoil at this time. Aye, we haven't discussed that yet. Uh, I don't suppose it would be possible to teleport there and he kind of looks towards kai do we have a circle there Ooh, oh bosco you bosco mm -hmm. your your microphone's mm -hmm. crackling what happened to my microphone you're also really better yeah you sound okay. great now okay uh yeah. i said do we have a circle there i don't recall you have a circle in athel but it's currently surrounded by um knights and it's planned um, and it's planned for destruction yeah, yeah, they're going to destroy so, it. That was the closest one you have, unfortunately. So that's a negative, so we're just walking. Unless we can sprout wings and fly. Wait, or, the outside actually... of fish, you could take a boat as well. Oh, That's probably a better idea than what I was going to suggest. Hmm. Lord Landon kind of strokes his chin and goes, You know, I could use some guards for a shipment that's going to Basalt Rise. How far would that put us out? Ah, uh, let's see. Can, can we map? Let's see. My cargo ships can travel three squares a day. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to go further out to sea. I would say the voyage would be... Give me one second to calculate this really fast. What Monty's, eyes just roll, uh, Monty's eyes just roll back into her head like a uh, fucking dune. <laughs> Deep magic. Let's say... Like, like a mentat. Deep magic. <laughs> Written. Thank you. 
What? Bing, go away. I don't want you. I'm looking up something. Oh. Bing. More like. Pops up. Hello? <laughs> Ebra? You, you want to use. You want a search engine? I would say it would be maybe a 20 day voyage. That's probably shorter than it would take by land. Probably safer, too. You have the black stripes in Athel right now. We don't know what state they're in at the moment. Oh, so. Is he saying this in front of our... Yeah. In front of this esteemed guest? Okay. Just yeah, talking just... openly about our spy organization? Uh, he, he is fucking super okay with this dude. That's a big trust. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In, in terms in terms of the travel, what sort of dangers would we be facing on the ocean? Um, pirates, um, sea creatures occasionally. Um, you shouldn't run into any dragon turtles or krakens, though that's not a guarantee. Um, <laughs> there have been rumors of uh, kraken cults about in the deeper oceans, but they're a little bit few and far between. Wait, oh sorry, kraken cults? People who worship kraken? Yes. Oh, there are yeah. several cults to several different kraken that exist throughout the world. One such one resides here. <laughs> and Milo Mealy just like cave and SpongeBob looks around. Oh, oh would, dude, Otho, would Otho know about that? <laughs> you guys, uh, history check. <laughs> Guys is doing the like point thing because he's 18. like, I heard those in stories. Uh, your father has dealt with them before, yes, you know about this. They, um, sometimes, like, attack ships, take them over. They've also been known to take over, like, civilizations as well, and turn them into, like, a sacrificial ground. They sacrifice people to their gods, which is a kraken. Um, they're mostly predominantly known towards Cethelia, specifically, in an archipelago set, but they have made their way around the continent of Alton every now and again. Ah, yes, Kraken cultists. There are a few near Martorallo, mostly near Cethelia. Um, quite the nuisance. Indeed, yes. Um, the other risk, of course, is if you're going to Ironkind, would be the gold dragons as well. The gold right. dragons are hostile. Yes, they're rather uh, xenophobic to anyone who's not a dragon, so... You may run into trouble with that. Would I know about that money? Uh, roll a history check. Okay. Could I uh, also roll this, or is that too far? It's too far for you, unfortunately. Totally uh, uh, 13. You remember Pretty your high? mother telling you that the dwarves of Ironkind and the gold dragons of the eastern regions um, have basically been fighting for years, like generations. Oh. Yeah. I feel it's kind of necessary before we get too deep on this voyage plan uh, to remind everyone that we do kind of have some business we need to do before we go on a journey like that. I think that's a given. At what time do you believe you're going to take this voyage? Um, probably in the next week or so. I'm not taking the voyage, but my men are going, and I can perhaps give you some coin, and it would be... I also, um, I could actually refer you to one of my dwarven friends in Ironkind Keep. Um, you mentioned a teleportation, um, ideal. I, I have a friend there who's an arcanist who could perhaps get you a direct teleportation route there upon a letter penned by myself, of course. Well, that would be quite the boon, my lord. Let me see here. Uh, Jives, grab me my uh, address. Can you watch as one of the butlers runs off? Very good, sir. It's just the one, the one butler who really knows how to dance. <laughs> my moves are copacetic, sir. I'm cutting Five, your moves, sir. <laughs> <laughs> um, they call me Jivey on the street. Boogie Wonderland, sir. I um I'm quite uh, well established with the Stone Main family of the dwarves of Ironkind. Uh wait. Iron Main, is that what you said? Stone Main. Stone Main. Stone Main. 
Does that ring a bell? Uh, to no, no, not to any okay. of you. I, I think Iron Man was uh, a character in Campaign 1, but... Unrelated, sir. <laughs> Jive! Jives! <laughs> Jives! <laughs> I'll be right Get with from... you. I'm busting a groove. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I am nay nay <laughs> Now watch me whip. Oh, <laughs> all right. So how long would it take to get a letter? Oh, I could do that this evening. Uh, all right. We, I presume we'd have to deliver it, though. Oh, yes, of course. You'd have to deliver it to the Stone Main family. But I, again, am very, very familiar with their uh, patriarchal leader, specifically. We do business and we... My goodness, the stories we can tell. Oh, Dwarves are fantastic lots to have around, I must say. They know how to indulge and enjoy. If nothing else, it could help us get a foot in the door. Aye, sounds Indeed. fun. You may also be able to find um, the politicians you are looking for. Uh, many dwarves are sometimes interested in foreign affairs, not wanting to remain inside of their underground keeps. Um, so perhaps you might be able to find individuals there. Solemnly nods. Hell yeah. Additionally, well, my friend, uh, you are a, uh, you seem to be a combatant of sorts, and he points towards you, Gaius. Yeah. I you do, may I find do. it incredibly engaging to meet with the Wormbreaker family. Oh, who are they? They are specifically dragon fighters. They fight the dragons on the surface, protecting trade routes, apparently. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, that's cool. Well, I'd gladly, I'd gladly take any trial on, and that sounds like fun. Hmm. I'm sorry, outsider. I seem to have taken a bit of your position in this matter. I get so enthused. The sound of this adventure has got me quite thrilled for someone as old as I am. And the outsider kind of waves his hand dismissively and goes, no, 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 it's all good. I mean, we still have the option of traveling on the over, you know, on the land, but that's definitely going to take a lot more time. We'd have to cross all the way through Athol from the east to the west. It's doable, but my my concern, again, is just what's going on there right now. We could certainly risk it, but... We do have needs to make connections there. But I am also concerned about what's going on. If it were me, and it's not me, but if it were me, I'd wait to hear what the Black Stripes have to say first. There he goes. <laughs> Again. <laughs> <laughs> Laying it out there. Well, we Airing do, it out. We do need to head back anyway for some other matters. What matters are that, the outsider asks. We have a few goals in mind that uh, for Eastonville that we should uh, get accomplished before our next meeting with the Ocean Lords. What goals are that? Well, I believe they wanted the roads to be clear. That is currently underway as we are receiving troops actively. Um, they also want us to hire uh, adventurers or some group of mercenaries to clear out Stan Fortress. Mm, that makes sense. When we were on our way here, we noticed that there were some headless birds perched on top of it. Uh, They're still they around. Familiar. Hmm. I thought they'd be gone by now. That doesn't surprise me. From what we've learned, Wormtongue is not quite as gone as we would like. Nothing in Eastonville stays dead. Ooh, so ominous. Oh, he watches as uh, Lord Landon just kind of sips his tea and is like, ooh, shivering with the sort of writing there. Uh, the outsider kind of strokes his chin and goes, you know, I could take back any messages you want if, I mean, this seems a bit more important between you and me, but if you want to take back the messages yourself, I mean, you have your 
um, scepter friend. How? Oh, is is he is he back to normal? By the way. Oh yeah. Oh, we, oh, oh! I thought we didn't. We never like Wark, turned him back. Wark, uh, uh, Kyrie summoned him before the meeting. Remember? Yeah. yeah. But then what you but, said but when the, we got there, he went back to scepter form. Yeah, yeah, he, oh, he went yeah. back to scepter form. He's he's back now. You guys let the anti magic. It was circle. yeah. I was about to say it's a ten, oh, okay. anti magic Hoping circle. Hoping you didn't have to re-summon him. <laughs> Some expensive spell mechanics there. No, it's only a temporary buffer essentially uh outsider how familiar are you with rose sinclair of the 13 knights of athel that's a good question again oh shit okay hold on let me grab my apple book he's just <laughs> If we could see his eyes roll back in his head, they would be. He's downloading an update from the Matrix. <laughs> oh, Rose Sinclair. Yes, I know her. She is the eighth standing of the 13 Great Knights. Her father was a uh, very high standing. He was the fifth knight before his death. Um, she's a rather shrewd woman, to say the least. Very direct. Is there anything specifically you wanted to know? I mean, I haven't really spoken with the woman in any formal agreement. I certainly haven't sat in her garden and drank her beer. I, well, we may have uh, met her. And what did you think? He kind of looks around the table before catching Otho's eye. I mean, Mo just kind of shrugs. Very abrasive. Mm. Certainly seem to carry a lot of power. The 30 Grand Knights are known to do that. They're the hand of the king, specifically. Well, as of right now, I think she might be our only real contact there. It she did refer to... us to Vicegar Luke. He is the leader of the 13 Grand Knights. If we're going to establish any sort of communication with them on a more official level, uh, that might be our avenue. And yes, we will probably have to talk to the Lord Commander before long. There's uh, another thing you could do as well, the Outsider says. What? Lynn says that she has a teleportation circle to Athol, specifically the royal capital. Well, that is that wise? Idea? <laughs> I don't know. I I don't think it's wise, but I mean, if you really want to be direct, that would be the way in. That might be Perhaps. a little more forceful than we were thinking. Mm. Or at least an. Perhaps. Was if push comes to shove, we could use the circle as a way out, however. Oh, we'd have to know where it is first. Well. Does Lynn know the location of this circle? Yes, uh, she says she has it inside of her catalog of teleportation circles in the middle of the castle. <laughs> She has Hearthland, Martorolo, though Martorolo doesn't have a castle to it. And you watch as uh, Lynn goes, yet? Yes, Lynn yes. says yet? No. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 the... She yells it. <laughs> Not yet! Just echoing yeah. on the wind. Uh, Lord, uh, oh my god, I lost Oh, Strongmore. Strongmore. Strongmore says, yes, there's not a castle in Martorolo yet. Um... But the outsider turns and goes, yes, Lynn mentioned that she had a teleportation circle to Athol. She asked if Empty and I would be interested in looking into things, but I refused because didn't feel safe, honestly. I mean, I'm no official, so. Actually, maybe you kind of are. I mean, you're sort of 
our acting arms master. I'm I'm sorry. I'm what? Sort of. <laughs> um. <clears throat> no, I'm I'm a squatter with additional skills. I'd like to thank. Well, you did offer to train a bunch of our armed soldiers? Question mark. And also teach those who are coming from abroad to learn as well. Yeah, it's like a little bit. That's sort it's not of a long term solution. Master. Aye, but it's not but what he's saying is not a long term solution. I'm a bit of a wanderer, I'm sure you've noticed. I can't exactly you know I'm not a permanent oh, teacher. I didn't, I didn't mean it as a permanent thing, more just that acting. Temporary for now. Right? Uh, to put it to put it succinctly outsider um we're trying to create even if temporarily a, a foundational anchor so um the country can retain its autonomy if you catch my drift mm. i i am catching it yes certainly i can <sighs> temporarily stick around i suppose but i not to dissuade you, but it might be advisable for you to maybe find a permanent individual. That begs the question, why do you wander around so much? Because I love it. I love traveling around, meeting interesting people and doing interesting things. Hmm. What? No, no, that was that wasn't that wasn't like a dis <laughs> despairing <laughs> hum. It's more of a more <laughs> of a contemplation. Yeah, that that one of those. <laughs> Well, We're gonna need to take when the guys. time... Uh, <laughs> you don't pay Maybe me a little enough. more beige. <laughs> well, when know, the just... time comes, perhaps you could uh, refer us to someone. Oh, jeez, maybe. I have to look around, but... I can't really think of anybody off the top of my head. Well, kind of strongly trust your people. judgment, so... I appreciate that. That's That's very nice. Hmm. I'll have to think about it and maybe see, but I mean, it's been years since I've seen some people and people change, they might have families and circumstances might be different and I don't want to send you on some sort of wild goose chase, certainly. Hmm. Hmm. Well, right now we're not chasing anything, so something's better than nothing. Fair enough. I'll think about it. I'll see what I can remember, but... I unfortunately can't make many promises in that regard. Sorry, I hope I haven't disappointed you in any way, but... No, that's not fine. at all. Hmm. We do have a lot of thinking to do. Seems so like. I all mean, of this will take some time, a deal of time and effort. If you wish, I could send any messages back to Lynn to let you figure out what it is you want to do. I mean, I don't mind being a glorified messenger boy. It certainly makes me feel a lot more youthful. And besides, it's good experience for empty. To be honest, I'd like you to take them with you, but it seems like whatever you're doing is probably quite important. And, you know, empty is a bit of a rogue element. I mean, would they want to come with us? I have no idea. Wait a minute. Gentlemen, how odd would it be if we had Empty actually join on the escapade to the fort? Have her be an additional or have them be an additional bodyguard? Aye. I mean if that's if they're up for they it. Want to do, yeah. Lonnie, did I just throw a monkey wrench? <laughs> no, I'm. It's your game. You guys can figure yeah, out what yeah. you want to figure out. It's like you know. As long as they're able to tell the difference between an enemy and a friend, then I don't see why not. Uh, if they're stable. <laughs> the outsider just does like a drink and then just a long like. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> you see him do like the kind of bite his tongue and then tip his head a little bit like. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. It's hard to say. 
above board, this is now the question. You guys have an orbit pod on, you have your jurisdictions. I will say this, you do not need to be present in Eastonville to hire hire adventurers. That will be right. left for Lynn to figure out for mm. you, essentially. We can we can relay the information that we got, I suppose, because I, I, it's it's probably not something worth taking, but Coleco did straight up say that they could provide mercenaries. I thought that maybe that would be a narrative in for yeah. some of this. We could yeah. we could go that but, route as well. But that's also something that, given given how we just had that conversation, it oh, implied sure. that Lynn would have to be the one to approve that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what I was getting at as well, was like, if we can give that information to the outsider and he can take it all back to Lynn, she is ultimately the one who has to kind of make that decision right now because the Ocean Lords basically just said we can't make those decisions. Sure. So. Well, you guys can make decisions. You just guys don't have authority, which is right. the annoying part. Like you guys right. can, your, yeah. your, your opinions matter. We're, we make suggestions. Right. You can make suggestions, <laughs> but ultimately it comes down to Lynn because unfortunately she is oh still God. deemed the leader of Eastvale yeah. to actually be like the final word on it because... I'm like, Oh my god, we're the ideas, guys. <laughs> we're the Vizier's, Zito. Yeah, yes. You don't, uh, did I stutter? <laughs> okay, but I'm not being Jafar again. Yeah. Um, Above board, if it were up to me, I'd say we make the attempt to go to Pud to find the orb because two things. One, we got to do it anyway. And two, we need to go to more places and meet more people to, you know, try yeah. to hire people on to for sure to, plus the bodyguard thing is like a week out right mm -hmm. they could go yeah. at any point so it could be at any time but like they can't wait for you forever did did the ocean lords give us any time limit no i don't think not they did. okay no okay. not at all all right yeah, um, I, I think going by sea is probably smarter than trying to go across Athel right now. As much oh as heavens, yeah, yeah, definitely. Athel, like, yeah. I want I want the black stripes to come back with uh, with information before we head back into Athel. The the, and, the and thing we might come is back at the same time. Too. The thing is, and the outsider is worried about is the fact that if you guys go in at the same time your spy network is in, if they get caught, then you guys could also get into trouble. I think well, that's, that's, what we, that's what exactly we that's exactly I, I what think, we mean we should wait for the black stripes to come back before we decide to go to Athel. Yeah. Cause if they catch like, and this is all very, it's based on roles, right? <laughs> like they're, I'm rolling in the background for them and mm -hmm. what they're doing, but if they fuck up and they get caught and then they find out that they're tied to you guys, like that could be really bad. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that is a genuine risk that could occur. And that's kind of what the outsider was trying to paint though. It wasn't very clear. <sighs> this fucking um, place is the, <laughs> the other option, um, you know, that you do have, though it might be a bit more wild. Um, I don't know if it would be good because of factions, but you do have a dragon. Um, fly? You could That's maybe fly. That's what I was going to recommend yeah. before the outsider made his so, recommendation. Yeah, like I was thinking about that too, but I didn't want to put Glee, I, like I didn't want to put Glean out. Because yeah. we, don't, we don't know if Glean would even want to help us with that. Here's the strange situation because if we take if we fly on Glean, we're gonna run into the Golden Dragons before we run into. Uh, Iron oh Man, right? yeah. yeah, everyone's yeah. everyone's gonna notice us on our way there. And, and yeah, we, we have a dragon. We fly into dragon ter territory that might get us an in with the Golden Dragons, but it would probably lock us out of anything with Iron Kite. Yeah, which so. we don't want to do because we already have connections and a potential circle there. Right. However, however. What if we could satisfy both aims by having it be that we give a missive beforehand saying we're coming by dragon? Um, uh, that I might be a think, little I sus. Yeah, I don't think alerting the people who are at war with dragons that we're arriving I, via dragon. Yeah, I don't think the wise. Worm Breaker family would appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they shoot us out of the sky. Yeah. They would try. So. Are, right now we're gonna go to Pud. That's the yeah. goal right now. Yeah, Pud seems like the best way forward at this point. Gentlemen, and, and yeah, Pud. We are Pud bound. We're putting. Um, if you do the escort with the cargo ship, that is a slower vessel. 
It only mm -hmm. moves three tiles a day uh, instead of a larger, faster vessel that would be four tiles a day. But you get paid for protecting the ship from any sure. sort of I, problems. I, I, hi, I'm Gaius Agni. I love a sellsword. I like money. I could like probably adventure. use money. You we could also probably use here's money. A, here's a kooky idea, guys. Winona did say come see her if we needed anything. Mm. What if we went with Winona? Oh, if we, oh, if we were going by sea, I was absolutely going to recommend Winona. The other thing, too, is if you go with the... I'm sorry that we're kind of talking about board, but this is the best way to get the information yeah. out. If you go... Yeah. If you if you do Lord... Um, I keep forgetting his name. What the Strongmore? hell? Strongmore? Strongmore. Uh, Strongmore. If you go with Strongmore, you have to go to Ironkind to deliver the goods. So it doesn't mean you're just, like, you're hitting Ironkind and then going about your way. You will have to go to the capital yeah, of Ironkind. You have to finish your job first. Yeah. But don't we need to do that anyway, guys, in order to establish connections and get access to the circle so we could just you know, not yeah, have to take I, a 20-day yeah, trip back. I don't, I don't yeah. think any of us are arguing against going to the capital. I think Monty's just letting us know, like, hey, there are strings attached. Giving us our options. Sure. There's yeah. strings attached. Yeah, you have to complete the entire thing, meaning... So, theoretically, I'd be fine theoretically, we take the job, we go to Ironkind, and then we go to Pud from there? Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Pud is north of Ironkind, so it's directly due north. By how long? I think that sounds reasonable. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's a good question, Mega Man. Uh, I, I had a map of. I know, kind. right? Um, it'd be maybe Re about seven to ten days. Rebel, walking. meet us there. <laughs> <laughs> walking? Uh, yeah, walking. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah we've done that before. So rain. <laughs> so right now our our plan is take the job, go on the twenty day journey, go to Ironkind, get this teleportation circle, and then take the jip the journey to Pud. Yep. Because I mean, okay. also it'd be it'd be really sick if we could like just meet some like minded individuals at uh, Ironkind too. Mm hmm. Get some dwarves for our minds. Hey, yes. money. Mm -hmm. How far away is Ironkind from Meadowfield? Uh, it is not terribly far. In a second, I can grab my big map, the forbidden map that Mark will never see. <laughs> also, are, we, are, we are we taking a break soon? <laughs> we are, yes. Um, uh, Meadowfield is actually around the same amount of time, like 10 days. However... Um, the roads have been rebuilt because there are uh, Aldir Harukneth is between uh, the middle of Meadowfield and Ironkind. But if you take the Pud Road, it's about the same distance. It's about ten days or so away. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm totally on board with that plan. So I, I, I'm sorry. I I know I probably like I I, I fell not not fell asleep on it, but. There, there was something that I had to look into a in Pud as well, or am I crazy? It was like something to do with the uh, the amethyst. Uh, I don't think so. No. Okay. Then I I'm, mean, but it I'm, is it is a stone. Maybe the dwarves could look at that, that, it. That's like, what I mean. That I, is I have true. The, I that's, also that's have something. the I also have that children's book. So maybe like someone just go the fuck you're walking around with that for? What do you get mm -hmm. seven? You know, two guys, if nothing else, and if there's nothing better to do, we could go see my mom. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, Milo. Sure. Mm, I'm gonna see my mom. He's, he's like, eight. He's 18 and been dead for two years. Hmm. It's just like just leans down. It's not as awkward as one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just silently thinking, I think we have a bunch of better things we could be doing, but... Okay. <laughs> it's okay, um, we're, 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 the, if... we're, the re we're the resident, like, like our family havers here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of <laughs> so... what we need to get done in the capital of Eastonvale has to be done without us anyway, so I don't right. see why that would be a problem. It's just a thought. Mm -hmm. Additional if, question: You have the option of going with the cargo ship, or going maybe with Winona and seeing if she could offer you something faster. So you have the choice yeah. of maybe doing faster, but like not getting well, paid. We get paid for the longer journey, and mm -hmm. we could use the money. Do we know how much money we're getting? 
Uh, it depends on the length of the voyage. So it's not determined to be 20 days. It could be longer or shorter depending on the weather, right? So let's, mm -hmm. say, let, let's, say, let's say it is 20 days. How much would that be? They'd probably pay you one gold per person per day. So mm -hmm. daily wage of one gold. Yeah. Okay. But it's like not even just when you land in Ironkite, it's until the goods are delivered. You get paid a gold a day. Right. Yeah. All right. So we kill all of the pirates once we land. And then we kill Sounds our own good to me. Crews, so it takes longer for us to deliver the goods. <laughs> hmm. We sit on <laughs> our hands for a month. Hazard pay <laughs> for having to we, fight pirates. We, we have pirate we have arc. a we have a pirate arc. <laughs> gotta go. It's gotta go. <laughs> well, I'm sure what we can happening? discuss that on the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As no. you partake of tea and drinks and ponder the way forward, that is where we will take our break. Okay. okay. It was in the restroom. Be right back. Lame. Hey, chat. What's up, chat? It's time for a halftime show. I can't wait for do you want to do me a huge favor? No. Could you click on that link and vote for me, please? Oh, my God, Connor. What, what link? Also, I just want to say that person in the YouTube comments. Oh, uh, this one right here. You guys are going on a quest again. Wait, what is this? A, I don't understand. Such a mutual <laughs> battle. Oh my God, Morthrander! <laughs> Holy shit! Link I got for what? you, Connor. Oh, don't worry. It's this. It's this link, right? That one. All right. I clicked on it and I, I voted for you, Connor. I got you. Excellent. Uh, hang on. I'm also voting for some other people. I don't like <laughs> them, so definitely voting for you. Oh yes, there are other people in this uh, poll. Uh, there's no, four minutes left in it, by the way. Hi, Sheru. Uh, yeah. No. Actually, guys, go vote for Connor. Do not. Yeah. Please. Oh God. Domain expansion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it, guys. Media management manipulation. <laughs> oh, this is an interesting session so far. I, I hope like you guys are enjoying it. It's definitely different for me. Is it? Well, it's just a lot of like political talk, right? Kind of following up the previous session, but we, we just role playing out here. I also hope you guys don't feel like you're being kind of like forced in the direction of Pud, but it is kind of a. Uh. A, a, a hashtag issue. Hashtag issue? Yeah, Pud is such an unfortunate name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sweet orphan. girl, thank you for the I 100 love... bits. Going to have to head to bed. My bed is calling my name. Well, I love how it's going to be pub, but it's Pud. <laughs> yeah. That's, 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 so, that's so real. <laughs> yeah, it's the orc that's guy. That's such a real bit of world building right there. It's because of the orc is like he he made a, he wanted to make a little tavern in the crossroads and he didn't know how to spell pub so he, he actually put pud and the people were like all right it's pud now and now that's it's like a now it's like a city so <laughs> god that's so fucking cool <laughs> shout out to the YouTube comments though they were very good this week oh my god I still I, I still wake up in a cold sweat of the person going ugh, making them go for another orb is this just a railroaded campaign or what and I'm just like bruh <laughs> <laughs> we picked this like you guys have so many means of travel like if you guys want to go through Athel I'm like you absolutely can it's just kind of risky and yeah like, but it's like it's like you're laying down three different railroad tracks and we're just picking the railroad that we want is that like genuinely how you feel, or is that are you being? No, sarcastic? Stop being Monty. Sarcastic. Monty. Oh my We're... god! Think about what I just said. First of all. <laughs> oh man, oh, I like. Goodness. What? What? Sure's yelling also, at you. you Holy you guys shit. can draw sexy televisions, but I can't use the things <laughs> at my disposal as well. <laughs> I'm not even gonna win. So I have a minute left, and I'm losing. What'd you do? That's right. Vote for him. Vote for him. Guys, click on the link and vote for him. There's literally a minute left in this link right guys, here. Guys, please. Uh, please. Free to vote for that me. link right there. It's click on it, please, guys. It's not, not going to happen. Is this why you asked if you're having a break? Yes. Huh? That, that's exactly why he asked if we're having a it's break. It's 10 o'clock. <laughs> we're overdue anyway. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, I'm going to go grab a snack. Let's go. Come on. You can do it, guys. Keep voting. Just it's click on the link. Out. It takes absolutely no time. Just keep on. Vote, vote now with your numbers. phones. There's 600 of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you all vote, he'll win. It, 
it's not gonna happen. <laughs> this is amazing. I I'm, I appreciate. I'm too the far. Way. I'm too far behind. Make it happen. Chat, make it happen. <laughs> Jarvis, make it happen. Put him in the put him in the PP destruction chamber. What? <clears throat> you heard me. Well, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. You Fine, can choose I'll, I'll to where you want right now. Oh my god. God damn it, boss. Go find here. This is what I'm making a reference to. What? What are you making a reference to? Hang on. I'll I'll show you the thing that I made before April Fools, like a dumb asshole. That I apparently got the eye of the Max Fleischer Museum <laughs> for this post. You voted for Thero. Good. Here, it's a general. Somebody voted for your opponent, and it makes me sad. What the f? We have minus one minutes left. Minus one minutes. Connor won. Oh shit! <laughs> hey, you won. We did it. <laughs> Let's go. See, you kept. I had faith. I didn't see. Dude, all I of the I voted for all the winners. I don't uh. see a roll book. <laughs> Oh my god. Let's go. I don't yeah. see a rule book. Let's go. Listen, oh, you got one. Boston, Listen, you got loud. artists in here that can You got artists in here that can draw sexy demons. I can use the things that I can use the things at my disposal wow. as well. Ladies and Sheru. gentlemen, I just want to take I want to I want to I want to point your attention towards Colonel Sheru. Who just told Connor to go kill themselves? That's so messed up. How could no. you do such a horror? No, she said she's going to kill me herself. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. In, Minecraft. in Fortnite. In um in in uh Fortnite Lego. In Lethal Company. <laughs> Colonel Shero, you really shouldn't be killing anyone. <laughs> in Clue, I love Cluedo. In Sonic. Yes, Team sir. In Club Penguin. <laughs> in Hell Divers. That's not very uh. <laughs> Is that very uh demo that's, democratic? That's pretty easy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> very easy, but not democratic. Bosco, she's not on the radio. She wants TV. She's a Vox fan. Oh, fuck that. Okay. Yeah, I take it back. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. And so easily swayed. I fucking get you in Halo 1. <laughs> you don't want none of this smoke in Halo 1, buddy. I don't like I don't want smoke in any Halo. I suck at that game. I know. That'd be like me trying to fight you in a fighting game. It's just not smart to go on someone else's turn. You could probably kick smack. my ass. I will I will At only... what game? Okay, I will any game that isn't Marvel versus Capcom 2. Okay, okay well, now, Zero, I, you I and I have to have game. an MVC tonight. Like, that has to happen, so. I, I will warn I, you. My money's on Zito. I, I, I will Zito. warn you, I do use cable in one rotation. That's fine. Okay, cool. So you don't hate me then. Excellent. No. I, 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 I auto Spider-Man He'll hate you after cable. you whip his ass four or five rounds I, in a row. I also used, I used to be Spider-Man, Iceman, Mega Man, so. Wow, you are Sonar Supreme. I know yeah. how to work. I know how to work around that shit. <laughs> to be fair, I have not played in several years, but like that is still one of my favorite fighting games of all time, and I would love to like spend the night playing with you. Dude, I can't. Fun. I can't fucking wait for whatever the community edition mod is going to be for MVC three, where it adds like seventy new characters that are balanced. Cause you know the fans give a shit more than the actual company does. And it's really easy to mod, too. It's kind of gross how good it is so far. Shero, don't at me with your poor takes on the show, please. <sighs> they, Dude, they got Venom to work exactly like he does in 2 in 3, and it fucking rules. Okay, I'm kind of... This is a stupid thing to be excited about, but apparently... They are releasing a gluttony Funko Pop, finally, and you gotta sign it. That that's is technically the first character I've ever voiced who has a Funko Pop. That's oh, awesome. cool! 
because I voiced him in the live action movies. So I might need to like get these. They come out he's in just... June? That's my birth month. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, he's just a little guy, dude. Oh, let's go, Mark. June babies. Guy. Let's go. Wait, what happened? Damn right. Let's go. What, what day of June is your birthday? I can't remember. The 18th. Okay. I'm before you. I'm fourth. Well, then yeah, a month like later is several my years after. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of birthday, we have a level one Evie in the chat. Happy birthday, Evie. Hey. Happy birthday. Is it his birthday? Yep. Or are we doing the bit again? Maybe. I don't know. And you know whose birthday it is, <laughs> oh, though? Uh, mm. huh. Midnight. Happy oh. birthday, Midnight. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Midnight. Kai I, Kisuke. I, Happy I, birthday. I love, I love Cheru screaming in chat. Now I have to make a new graphic. <laughs> 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 Get inconvenienced, nerd. You did this to yourself, to be fair. Classic Potter <laughs> move making... <laughs> no, just, that's me, and I want to say that. <laughs> I'll go ahead and figure this out. No, I don't want to do it. It's like... To... Oh, I need I... to start a... Why a... are we getting yelled at? I didn't. I had no hand in this whatsoever. <laughs> we've, made, <laughs> we've, made, we've made a powerful <laughs> enemy. Stare, to be fair, you have not put me in any of your mutual uh, voting things, so I have Ooh. literally zero horses. Well, what, what say do I have? I don't see a Zito in there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to fight. I just want peace, man. Just wait for the next that is one. A lie. It's just going to be Zeno versus me. You were a, were a witness, Monty? That doesn't mean I'm I'm responsible for Connor being up to his shenanigans. If that was the case, <laughs> Actually, I would be in a, jail as, by now. <laughs> and it shocks me to this day that the, the guys on the, the, the moose haven't come and taken you away. What are they called? The Mounties? Mm. I was in the pooper for a while. What the hell's going on? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Welcome back. I hope your shit was glorious. It wasn't. <laughs> glorious. It wasn't. Thank you. Oh, I won't give in. I won't it. give in. Oh, I won't give in. All I know is Chero now hates me. I'm sad. And he will just... <laughs> uh, Chero just hates me. Are we all back? Are we good to go? Because I'm going to make some poop jokes. I'm eating. Don't make poop jokes. <laughs> uh, well... <laughs> Oh my god, Monty, that's another thing we have in common, because I, I voiced a character who did nothing but eat, and now you're eating. Wow, what? I just <laughs> had a snack, Mark. Yeah. We have so much in common. You Mark, eat, I Mark, eat. Mark, you should be a yoga instructor with the instructor with all that stretching you're doing. I would uh, love to be a yoga instructor. Uh, we're, 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 all, we're, we're all just coming together as a family. How about here. some dad jokes, everybody? I think dad Everywhere. jokes. Everywhere. Oh, hell jokes. yeah. The last Do you time guys I know why the bike joke, was exhausted? You guys got mad at me. So. Why? Do you do the the bike was exhausted because it was too tired? What do you call it? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm, I'll steal. I'm gonna steal a joke from elsewhere, but I'm still gonna say it anyway. But by all means, Gaijin, say yours first. What do you call? Well, sorry, what, what was yours, Gaijin? What do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish with no eyes. A fish. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Yay! Trust uh, you did it. Hey, hey, did, many... you, did you guys? Did you guys hear about the cheese factory that blew up? No. Oh. There was debris everywhere. Uh... No, anyway, I are we are we all back? Many, no, no, I, no I, I, I must say me. one. I must say one. How many tickles does it take to stop an octopus? Tentacles. Tickles? Yep. Tentacles, yeah. That's nice. you, what do you call an elephant that doesn't matter? An irrelevant. Irrelevant. Oh, yes. <laughs> all right, are we all back? I heard a chuckle. Uh, I, I don't know, so. are you done eating? Yes, I'm done. I'm drinking I don't, my I don't, new... I don't know, Monty. How, how are you taking this pun ishment? Is it punny to you? I think she's taking I it date, sitting down. I date Arkolf. You guys have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you need to understand and... that. I am in a relationship with fucking Arkolf, who isn't even a father, and yet is loaded up to the ass with dad jokes. Is dad the man? I know. Arkolf and I could have a dad off. <clears throat> I don't like the way that sentence came out of your mouth. So sorry. Yes. Sorry. Let, anyway. me, let, me, let, me, let me rephrase. So Arkolf just... is a dad. No, and I am Monty, you were supposed dad, to start and to we save could, us from Bosco's And we could... And... We could have a dad off together. <laughs> uh, we could call it the dad <laughs> Exactly, Citric. Uh, these jokes are getting father and father apart. And the dad Olympics was right there and you ignored it. So. All right, I'm back. Let's get okay, started. Great. 
Monty, welcome back. I appreciate it. Also, I don't think I switched this over to our slideshow page while we were on our break. A dad athlon. Nope. Sure didn't. Oops. Right, bro. Oops, that way I didn't maps. have to tell you about the scarecrow who won an award because he was outstanding in his field. All right. Get it, get it, get it. You looked that one up, so no points. So, uh, as you guys kind of, do you guys want to continue your meeting or would you guys like to uh, retire for the night? I'm good for retiring. I'm yeah, I think we retire. probably have yeah, to I think we've... out, right? All right. Strong war will set it's you up for rooms. It's been a day. Aw, that's cool of him. Yeah, I mean, you're friends of the outsider, so he's like, oh yeah, you guys are, you guys are tight. Um, he sets you up each with a very lavish guest room, which mm. as you kind of walk through the space of his mansion, um, you realize the size of it is so large because of the massive ballroom that he has in the center of his mansion. And Otho, uh, you, you've been here several times throughout your childhood. It is very liminal space to be in here when there's <laughs> no one else inside, though. Mm -hmm. You see mm -hmm. the chairs and tables that usually occupy the outer gardens currently stacked up inside of the ballroom in a corner. There's also a series of instruments on the other side of the room. Um, and as you guys kind of make your way through the house being led by the butlers, um, you actually turn the corner, which appears to be just a hallway of stuffed <clears throat> creature heads is the best way to put it mounted on marble placards uh you see a large deer reindeer you actually see the massive head of a delvarian boar uh you see a goat head like a long horned goat head with horns that are at least like double the length of its head uh you see what appears to be a giant owl bear head mounted as well um you also like ventura you see a He's got sleeping in that room, yeah. You see a wyvern head, and as you guys are kind of looking at these various heads, you do notice currently looking up at what appears to be the head of a very large bear. Uh, you see currently empty, just standing in the hallway, unattended. Poke. Huh. Uh, empty. Their head turns, and they. You can't see eyes, obviously, but their gaze looks towards you. Yeah, very much like that. Are, uh, you okay? I hate this place. You mean this room? All of it? Ah. Uh. It's ugly. Looking nervously, do do the butlers seem to respond to that at all? No. Okay, <laughs> they're well trained <laughs> butlers. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, we were summoned to talk to the outsider. Oh, that makes sense. Where is he? I, I assume he's still I in believe. the garden, right? Yeah, he's in the garden still. I believe he's still downstairs chatting with uh, the Lord of the Manor. It's been days. It's been days Where are you? Since what? We arrived here. I thought if when you arrived, we would leave immediately. Where do you feel like you should be? A hole in the ground. <laughs> what? Otho, Otho thinks like, oh, right. <laughs> Fucking life of the party. It's comfortable. I don't like the square things you sleep on. They're, it's like you're sinking. <clears throat> you can't breathe. Have you tried lying on your side? Ugh. You just see them shudder. Anyway, at least he kind of you watch as empty kind of looks behind them. There's a girl here. 
she's the daughter of the man who lives here. Uh, yes, yeah, he... uh, we were told that you uh, have been uh, visiting with each other. She's nice. Is there any way to insight that? <laughs> Go for it, yeah. Huh. Where are you? There you are. I wish you luck. 22. Hmm. Wow. Uh, there's a bit of admiration in the voice. Oh. Hmm. What do you find fancy in her? What's fancy? Uh, it, it means, like, you, you like them in a special way. Fancy. Um, they were similar, I think. Does she also not remember who she is? There's like a pause from empty. I know who I am. I haven't forgotten anything. They don't wish to be seen. Oh. Introversion. Introversion? Shy. <clears throat> yes. Uh, she's shy. But she talked to me. And it was nice. And you found a friend. A friend. Hmm. Like you. That's right. Oh, oh. you do care. <laughs> As you say, you do care. Empty goes, I don't know about all that, but. Baka. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back to my hole in the ground. Well, I at least consider you a friend, so uh, feelings mutual. Empty kind of looks up at the roof of this opulent place and looks towards the rest of you. I'm going to ask you for a request. Oh. Very well. Would you permit me... Grant me the right to enter your castle and go inside of it. Yes. Absolutely. Milo freezes. Yeah, I'm gonna... Milo fucking freezes super hard. Hmm. I would like to incite this. Go for it. Big same. Because they mm -hmm. like they like to sleep in holes. The dark in the ground. Uh, I'm dumb. In the dark in the ground. None of them are exposed. Ask for permission to enter. Never mm -hmm. exposed to light. The, this would be an insight? Yeah. Natural 20. Got him. Uh, I'm going to whisper you something. Oh, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> oh. I will say, from Iskan's perspective, given how awkward Empty has always been, for him, this just feels like yet another awkward request of, like, right. I don't know if I'm allowed to do this or not because I already said I didn't want to go in, so now I'm asking for permission because it's awkward. Mm -hmm. You find out Empty is not a vampire, but in fact, a very large misshapen gerbil. <laughs> Dude, I mean, that would check out. <laughs> this ain't a whisper. This is a fucking letterhead with a <laughs> fucking giant ass note on it. Mental combat. Uh... Still that's going, too. That's what you read into it. Hang on. I'm going to jot this down. Oh, okay. Hang on. Mm. 
Notice how we've never seen empty <laughs> garlic in the same room at the same time. <laughs> you know, that's a really good point. Oh, no. Okay. Um, no, 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 no. Sorry, I'm just... Things are happening in my brain. <laughs> Would you like to share? Or? Did you cook it's, with garlic? It, no, no. It, it, mm. <laughs> Did you cook with garlic? No, it's it's me theorizing a lot of things about this character. Mm. Okay, so... For the rest of you, as Empty asks this, it seems very stilted and kind of weird, almost like um, they're reciting like a script or something. It doesn't no. feel like like it doesn't feel like I am requesting to enter your castle. Not like, hey, do you mind if I go inside your castle? Like, there's no personability to it at all. That is what yeah, the rest of you sure. read into it. Uh, oh, though, you get the additional details that I provide. Yes. You. Miles gonna look to everyone to see their responses first. Uh, Eastgan already gave his response. He, he yeah, guy, guys food. didn't read into it. Kai just has his eyes narrowed. I mean, we welcomed you into <clears throat> the castle before. You just refused. You weren't all there. Why does I that figured. matter? I figured it has to be a unanimous decision. Uh, Why? Well, we're sort of a council of democracy. Council of democracy. They kind of shake their head. They look towards you, Kai, mm -hmm. and they go, all decisions must be unanimous. That's not how democracy works. They just stare at you. There's no response. Well, I mean, we don't have to vote on this one, right, guys? They are more than welcome. Milo I looks at you. With a, Milo looks at you, Eastkin, with a grave concern. Right. I think in this instance we do. I, I think uh, I think Otho will is is empty like sitting or standing. They're standing, yeah. Okay. As you guys are kind of ruminating, empty kind of looks away and goes, "I can stay in the hole. It's fine." Empty. You may enter the castle. Milo they, shoots a look to you. <laughs> they raise their hand to their other shoulder and like clasp their shoulder and then lean down in a very long bow and then slowly raise that back to their full height i think i will reciprocate as you go to do it empty's like what are you doing just n not not as deeply I'm acknowledging you i suppose you don't do that why not? Old habits. It's pointless, but do what you wish. I'll tell the outsider. Excuse me. And they go to walk past all of you. Milo. Uh, Otho, Milo grabs you by what he could reach the cuffs to pull you down to his <laughs> face. Are you insane? He, he sort of cocks his head. Mr. Brightbeam, I couldn't possibly fathom what you think might have just occurred there. Am I missing something? You said we did have to vote, but then granted permission anyway? That wasn't unanimous either. Otho, what did you just do, on? Otho? I allowed Empty into the castle. Why? Oh, Berth and Gherkin back at the castle. Why do I hear boss music? Otho, why? Why not? They were sleeping in a hole previously. 
If they're going to be of any use to us, they might as well be in the keep. Or we could be used to him, them, it. My lord. I'm getting the stark impression that you do not trust Empty. No, I don't trust Empty after everything. Do you trust the outsider? <sighs> That's the only reason that I'm not more angry. Otho, I promise you, if you just invited an agent and knocked into our home, it's going to be dire consequences. Hmm. Otho will sort of tilt his head up, look down at Milo, sort of through the... down past the bridge of his nose. I assure you I did not. It's only because I trust you, all of you, and the outsider. Fine, but I don't like it. <clears throat> the butlers <laughs> and the maids are still there. <laughs> What's hair? Jives, hit the gritty now. Jives starts like Fortnite dancing in place. <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> As you wish, my lord. All right, well, if that business is taken care of. We shall show you to your rooms now. Yeah, thank you. I am so confused. Uh, you are led to the most lavish rooms you've ever been in. All Samir Harlan's house was very quaint. It kind of had that sort of like, you know, med like a nautical esque kind of beach housey kind of feel to it. This is like, temp like the, the, the Castle of Versailles, like French large like painted on the ceiling murals canopy beds like just too much space and each of you get your own private room oh dang oh man money is everything too big yes a hundred percent However, yeah, sports not just big. for Milo, everything How is too big for everyone. <laughs> However, Milo, as you enter into your space, the butler steps across from you and then proceeds to unfold just a butt, like transformer style, oh. like steps up to the bed, you know, reduces the wash basin's height down, and like, like it basically like automatically makes everything more size appropriate for you. And the butler kind of walks forward and goes, "We frequently have dwarven guests as well." You can be accommodated, Master Milo. Oh, call me impressed. Mm, Thank yes. you. My um, favorite Transformer Steptimus Prime. If you need anything, and this all happens unanimously between all five of you, by the way, whether it is a maid or a butler, if you have need of anything, ring this bell and we shall meet you anon. And they hand you like a small little bell that you can ring. Three in the morning. Mm. Jives. Orange Justice. <laughs> Break down. <laughs> Orange Justice. <laughs> How far <laughs> apart are the rooms, Monty? You guys are all next to each other on one side. Okay. The view on the other side uh, faces what appears to be the uh, western part of Marallo. Uh Very lovely view. You can see the ocean. You can see uh, the remainder of the Moonstone <laughs> District down below. It's quite nice. Uh, as the nice. butlers leave, Iskun's going to stick his head out the door. Hey, Gaius. Just like, just, just a giant door opens and his head pops out from the, the pans in from the side of the door. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you got a minute? <laughs> second, one second pan just right in front of you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up? Uh, come inside for a second. Uh, okay. Steps in. I'll close the door behind him. So, uh, do you know what's going on? <laughs> I mean, I know a lot just happened. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> just, oh, what's going on? Both, both eyes fucking spread out, <laughs> looking in opposite directions. What? <laughs> what? Just goes How do you walks in the room. Do you know what is going on here? 
now. I, I know. I know a I lot. I have no strong happened. feeling one way or the other. <laughs> I would hope you would inform me as to the rest of the query. I, I know a lot has happened in the last day or so, but between uh, Otho and Kai being sort of distant and whatever just happened with Milo, I. I don't know. I feel like maybe we all need to check in with each other. Oh, I, I'm. A lot of what's been happening has been heavy, and I mean, you're all no stranger to seeing how that affected me as well. You have any ideas on how we can get them all to just, you know, breathe for a second? Probably getting them out of the problem so, uh, problem uh, location. I feel like. We have spent far too much time in Monterolo, not for the sake of, not for the, any other instance than just, it feels, it has a sore spot for most of our allies. Me, I love this place. I can't get enough of the ocean. It's a big pool. Have you seen it? It's crazy. Yeah, it's a little salty for my taste, but it is a nice place to look. Things Plus, swimming in. I haven't seen this many for a long distance, so. Oh, I, there's so much wonders abound here, but. I can tell it causes great distre uh, distress for at least two of our companions. And I can say this to you, right? That we've just been shunted into a massive responsibility. And now there's a whole lot shouldering on all of us. The whole reason I left home was because I had no responsibilities and I went to go seek them. And now I'm <laughs> part of me regrets that now that I'm being shunted into a position of power and all I wanted was just to use the position of power to have fun and in the way of like combative and glor uh, gladiatorial reasons and now we're tasked to ending a necromancer a, a blight multiple countries and we've only been around each other for a year this is <sighs> well this is taxing mentally for a lot of people, especially in such a short amount of time. I'm eternally screaming every that. waking second. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize it was that bad for you. Are you, hide, are you okay? I hide, I hide a lot of emotions. He says with a smile. <laughs> yes, with, the, with an absolute <laughs> smile on his face. Well, uh, for me, I guess it, I was sort of the opposite. I left home because of the responsibilities that were being thrown at me so I kind of understand it's sort of why I want to get all this business done as quickly as we can it would be nice not to have to you know handle it all ourselves oh I that's why I well all of you seem to have a higher sense of I don't know a higher sense of intelligence to all of this I'm not that smart. You know this. I don't even know how to write in common. I don't think that determines your intelligence, guys. Mm, being a middle child to a family of warriors, mages, and whatnot, it gets to you a little bit under your skin. But it's, it's just something that gnaws at me. I guess it's, as someone once told me, I think a human said it was middle child syndrome well i only have the one sibling but i, I don't know I, you know more about weaponry and fighting styles and the lay of the land even than i think any of us oh i am what good did it do us in that whole entire conversation we had with the ocean lords barely anything we all play to our strengths i'm not saying that I'm not, I'm not saying I'm completely useless, just I don't have a lot to say in that regard. Now, if there was a goblin coming at me with a knife, I'd just deck him in the face, and I'd smile at it. But that's about all I can do at that point. I think you're selling yourself pretty short there. Eh, it's that I syndrome thing. I felt safe thing. in that room because I knew if something happened, you'd have my back. I same, same here. And I feel like we all have this scenario, though... All this responsibility and all this new fang all this new fangled talk of politicalness and having to be <laughs> for lack of better term, 
to be adults. It's just something we're alien with, at least most of us anyway. Well, some of us by choice. I don't know. The politics have always been around. I just tried to ignore them. I guess now we don't really have the choice, at least temporarily. But well, I guess this trip on the ocean might do us all some good then, right? I, well, I'm just living in my ignorance as, you know, everything's a trial. That's kind of the only thing that's been keeping me pushing forward. And I'm going to keep going on that same notion. Because if I don't, I fear I might break under the pressure. Well, I hope you've been writing in that book of yours all the successes you've had. I'm almost done with the first book. Oh. There's I... still much more to write. I didn't expect to get this far. We're going to have to get you another book then, huh? Oh, God, another 200. Wait, we don't have to worry about that anymore. We own a nation. A, a poor nation right now, but uh, yeah. Gaius oh. looks at you and smiles. He's been fucking with you. Oh. I'm not as stupid as you think. I look stupid. Look stupid. Yes. Said, I don't think you're stupid. Oh, oh, I'm tired. Uh, <laughs> see, this is why it's fun to hang around you guys. You all take my chicanery with a grain of salt. It's nice to have a bounce back and not just have someone ignore it like the rest of my family did. Or at least my sister, anyway. If you never get her to crack a smile, it's irritating. Well, I can't speak for everyone else, but just know I'm always paying attention. You have no idea how much that actually feels good. Well, I do agree with you. We should look into each other's, at least, state of being for quite some time. The brothers, I don't feel, is a good idea, at least until we leave Monterolo. And Milo, I don't... I'm never going to pretend to know like I know anything religious, but this not nonsense, it's kind of a sore spot for him. So we're going to have to just find the proper time to actually be able to see how they're doing and see what they want to do. A retreat from responsibility would actually be do miles for them. I think Milo will really benefit from seeing his mother, too. We should really try and make that happen. I've been trying to make that happen for a year. <laughs> Sorry, what I was am, it? I just looks to the camera. I am in extreme mental anguish as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you happen to think of any good activities to do while we're on the ocean, it's going to be Fighting. a long 20 days, so. Fighting? Uh, well, that might work for some of us. Hmm. Maybe. Gambling, fishing, pirating. Oh, we could be pirates. That I'm sure not... Otho would love that. <laughs> okay, well, I'll let you think on that for the night, and... I'll uh, do my we'll... best salutes. <laughs> we'll brainstorm some more tomorrow, I guess. Sounds good. Hell, we could probably I... draw maps. Oh, well, now you're talking. Mm, points. Put up finger guns at you as you walk out the door. Get some rest. You too. When the sounds of those doors close, Kai is going to go knock on Otho's door with a familiar knock. Otho will uh, relatively quickly open the door, peek his head out. Yes. Oh, brother. Housekeeping. Come in. You don't need to sweep my room. <laughs> Kai's going to walk in. So? So. Welcome back. To, to what? Reality. <laughs> oh, brother. I've been dealing with reality this whole time. As best I can. So then where's your head at? 
considering everything we just saw and heard and witnessed. Well, obviously the Ocean Lords are right. We do need to get a handle on this country that we're one day going to be in charge of. Mm -hmm. That's still difficult to wrap my head around. I was perfectly content at attending parties and doing the family's business, but now every scope I previously had has expanded so wide and it's difficult to keep track of everything. Well, that's all well and good, but you're ignoring the obvious one. He will, um, he'll reach up and he'll take his glasses off and he'll set them on a side desk or something. He just shakes his head. Our father has always been a wall of a man in numerous ways. He is distant at the best of times. But it's illogical to call it a feeling that something profound is wrong here. So everything that we saw and heard or didn't see or hear, all of that is just some unknown entity. Is that where you're at? I'm not sure what it is, brother. I know I remember the man who raised me. I remember the way he was. I remember the way he became. And I remember a bunch of other things as well that we've learned recently um can i look around my room briefly just yeah. to see if there's any like small cracks in the wall or gaps where the rooms or the walls are especially thin just anywhere someone could listen in to our conversation investigation or perception of your choice uh well my perception would be the highest and i already shifted today so i don't get advantage on this so here we go that's a natural one Nice. Heaven or hell, let's rock. And you look around the room. I mean, it's got a giant window on the side. Like, it's got a patio and a window. You know, there's a door. It's also a fucking large room as well. So, it's unfortunately hard to tell. Otha will, um... What, what, what is... Is Kai, like, sitting? Uh, Kai is standing, because I assume there's only the bed and maybe a chair. There's so like Kai a table and chairs, yeah. yeah. There's also like a vanity. There's also like a really crazy looking rug on the floor. Chandelier. Paintings uh, of landscapes. I think Otho will uh, grab a chair and he'll gesture for Kai to sit down as well. 
Kai will take a seat. With what little we were able to gather from Harlan's testimony, and what little we were able to gather from seeing our father ours with our own eyes and interacting with him, and what little we have heard from other testimonials from beings like Word Nahald or Fade and Foldest and various other rumors and hearsay and whatnot about our father. I'm beginning to piece together a picture about what might be happening. I think something evil is afflicting our father. I'm not sure what or who or why, and especially not how. But I feel deeply that this is what is happening. What do you think? Yeah, I think logically you're correct. Something is up. That doesn't mean I'm going to give him a pass for what he just did. There are a lot of spells that I've learned about or read about that can do a lot of things to a person, but it doesn't change who you are at your core. And for him to look at you after I basically dragged you back from hell and not even acknowledge that's your home? There's not a spell in the world that I'll forgive that for. I'm sorry. So I'm still willing to help you, and if we can figure out what's wrong with him, fine. But I'm telling you now that if he lays a finger on our mother, I will kill him. And I'm letting you know that now. And I'll rip that sword out of his hands myself. Otho will chew on that for a moment. If it comes down to that, you'll have to beat me to it. Good. Then, let's figure out what we're going to do about this orb and we'll try to pick up the pieces of this mess when we get home. Yes. I will see you in the morning. And uh, I'm gonna start to walk out. Yes. See you in the morning. Kai will stop at the door for a minute and kind of look back at you. And he'll narrow his eyes like he's off to do when he can tell the gears are turning in your head. But knowing you probably would have said something if you wanted to, he will exit. But he will take a mental note of your pause and tonality. Yeah, he just kind of... Otho just sort of sits back in his seat and steeples his fingers together and just stares at the wall and thinks. I think the uh, thing that he thinks the hardest about in that moment is that family portrait hanging in Brutus's office, pristine, when there was chaos all around it. Uh, as Kai goes back to his room, he will sit at his desk. Uh, and he will take work out of his poncho and put him on the desk and kind of pat him on the head and immediately flip open his spell book uh, and begin pouring over it 
with numerous scrolls, um, basically thinking about the forbidden knowledge that is still out there that he has been advised against touching and whether or not that might be a line worth crossing before he packs it up and goes to bed. All right. As all of you rest for the night. Uh, make a dexterity saving throw. Yeah, <laughs> yeah everyone, everyone. roll initiative. Yeah, no, uh, the hidden needles in your pillowcases launch. And <laughs> make a wisdom. Oh my god, MT. The, the oh, butlers the, whole time. Save. <laughs> the butlers had made stab you in your sleep. No, it wouldn't be the first time we've Jive. encountered very fancy assassins. J Jives demands a a uh, you got served dance off. <laughs> oh my god. Get it on the floor. Get it. Get it on the floor. <laughs> oh, okay. Interesting. Kai, as you are mm -hmm. up the latest, uh, and everybody else, you you make your way to sleep. You hear footsteps outside in the hallway. Do they sound heavy footsteps? Do they sound armored? Both light and armored. Do they sound like they're coming closer to the room or just walking past the room? They're like approaching and then they stop and then they walk away and then they stop and then they approach again and they stop. It seems to be kind of like a weird back and forth. Uh, Kai will press his ear to the door, but he won't open it to see if it gets closer. Roll a perception check. Oh boy. Please. It's a 10. It's very average. Okay. It sounds like someone pacing back and forth. Uh, Kai is going to attempt to slowly turn the knob of his door or press the button down however the door is situated. Uh, and then before he pulls it open, he will give a pause to make sure that there's no clanging of metal or anything and then slowly start to open it so he can look around the corner. Slide a hand. Okay. 17. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I've watched Otho do this. You slowly creak open the door and you peer out. You see kind of down the hallway where there's a sort of like T intersection of the halls, uh, a figure kind of pacing back and forth slowly and kind of muttering to themselves. Uh, you recognize them to be empty. They seem to be acting a little weird. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Can I hear what they're muttering or is it just, are they too far away and too under the The breath? helmet, unfortunately, garbles whatever mm -hmm. they're saying as well. So they're too far away. Uh, Kai is going to pull the door open and take a step out. And see if he notices. Okay. You try and do it stealthily or are you just walking out? Uh, I'll try to do it stealthily. He's prepared to get caught, but he'll try to sneak up. Okay, stealth um, check. So I guess stealth check. Yep. Uh, soft 20. Nice. Ooh! You should just uh, kind of... I will channel my inner Otho. <laughs> it's really... No, your it's inner really... Otho would roll a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. You... The Otho that I've made in my mind that is perfect. Oh, it's, it's better Otho here right now. <laughs> it's better Otho in my brain. Also, you're very loud, Bossy. You just might want to lean yeah. away a little bit from your microphone. All right. Um, it's kind of like red light, green light. Every time mm -hmm. empty passes by the hallway, you stop moving. <laughs> and then every time they're gone, you sneak up. Oh, my God. Till eventually, <laughs> till eventually you're out of, like, you're kind of close enough where you can hear them kind mm -hmm. of just muttering, going, I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. I hate it here. This is where gods go. This is where gods go. I shouldn't be in here. I shouldn't be in here. This is where gods go. This is where gods go kind of walking back and forth like they seem to be what? kind of panicking what the fuck you said this is where gods go is what he's this is about? where gods go this is where gods go i shouldn't be here i shouldn't be here okay and it just sounds like he's repeating that he's not saying anything else nothing but that and also kind of just muttering to himself kind of pacing back and forth he's wa he's walking the whole length of a hallway too like going back and forth and you're able to kind of duck behind some of the stuffed heads just to kind of block the vision and empty it takes no notice of you but they're just walking back and forth okay 
they don't say anything different if I were to observe them for like a minute walking back and forth? For a while, like they walk back and forth, you kind of watch and then they kind of stop. And then they just start to slowly breathe. Like a... Like a slow, long breath and then breathe in and then breathe out. And then they kind of like stagger for a moment and like it's kind of creepy because you see them from behind they kind of like slump mm. slightly forward and then they like stiffen up and then walk into assumedly their room and close the door behind them what are you Fuck. up to kai's gonna slowly creep back to his room all right, you creep back to your room, you open the door, you close it. Bizarre encounter in the night. But you all gain the benefits of a long rest. Yahoo! Woo. And as okay. the dawn breaks in the morning, the path ahead, the head of you, yours to charter, that is where we're going to end the session. Oh, oh my gosh. God. Bye, Austin. Bye, Austin. I guess I'll talk to you Bye. next week, Connor. I have info. Uh, what Mark, the thank, fuck? Thank you for that goofy we should compare ass notes, game. shouldn't we? Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> you know something I don't know, and I technically know something you don't know. Yeah, know, I mean, we all know something the others don't know right now. It's crazy. We should you try know, communicating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so next session, I think uh, we'll start you guys on your journey, however you wish to take mm -hmm. it to yeah. Ironkind. The Sweet. Dwarven Kingdom of Ironkind to make your way to Pud. We're going right. to the mines! <laughs> the children crave was, the mines. That was a session. <laughs> very, very political two sessions, but also, you know, some new allies you've made. <laughs> and yeah. potential lore. vampires, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> lore galore. Well, allegedly. Allegedly. Alleged vampire. Alleged vampire. We can either confirm nor deny this vampire. <laughs> Chad is correct. We also had a rock and stone. It's true. Yes, we yeah, did. Yeah, rock and stone to the bone. Only one. <laughs> hey. Uh, well, happy happy April Fools. Also, I I we <laughs> played dumb, <laughs> but uh, that was Lorian. Lorian did an edit of that last year for Shahalam, actually. Um, fun little fact that Wark that made up the song, I was sick when I recorded that. <laughs> hey, Shaham, yeah. Shaham was like, hey, can you, can you record a Wark for me? And I was like, literally, like, yeah, okay. And I just went, Wark, into the microphone and sent it. <laughs> Wark, right? Wark. And, that, and then that masterpiece came back. So thank you so much, Lorian and Shell, for, you know, Shell for enabling and Lorian for, for making it. It was Obliging. really, really fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I've got what so many questions guys. that you cannot answer. Mm -hmm. I'm curious what those questions are, and I won't answer. I, but I wish curious. I knew what you I know out. you won't I answer. That's why. I, I, I just. Wait, when conversations happen, things. Everybody's perceptions, I think, are going to change, which I'm very yep. much looking forward to. Mm -hmm. I like There's that. There's a lot of stuff here. floating in the wind right now. I like that you got to hear guys go, I am extreme mental anguish about responsibility now <laughs> that I have it. I'm in pain. Like all the time. You know who's not in pain, though? Gaijin Goomba. Where can they find you and what are you up to since we're doing uh, the intro? Uh, killing vampires, uh, if and you don't mind. Uh, no, but uh, I do. Twitch, Twitch, mm, Twitch.tv slash Gaijin mm. Goomba every Tuesday, Saturday, and Sunday. 7 p.m. is Central Time. Um... So last stream was a build stream, uh, and I spent like 20 minutes just showing off all my models that were orky like an idiot. And apparently a lot of people like that. I might do more of that again because childish hyperfixation is apparently something everybody can jive with. Um, but yeah, aside from that, new video dropped not too long ago. Uh, I know it's a little weird, but people have been like hey when are you gonna tell us why nobunaga was so good and hideyoshi and tokugawa were the absolute satans of of the three well that question has been answered it's up on the channel right now and as far as the second channel's video i am currently working on um orc teach all of you to speak orc and it's not pleasant doing so so uh 
That'll be oh, fun. Poor throat. Uh, it only hurt for 20 minutes afterwards. I'm getting better at, at recovery. See, it's you don't you don't use your thing. don't use your throat so much as your soft palate, and it's it's way more manageable. That and always always make good use of your mucus. And I, I have I did have a lot of tea, and not that not that like Lipton stuff, like real tea. Oh, okay. shots fired. Okay. Oh, yeah. Damn. Damn. All right. Okay, I fucking guess. <laughs> <laughs> Think the thing that only gets me going in the morning and <laughs> besides caffeine and I can't get that all the time. <laughs> Fuck me, huh? <laughs> Covers my you needs like ears. Don't listen to him, baby. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I guess I'm just a fucking T plebeian. Shit. A Tbian. A Tbian. You right. <laughs> Zito, you're right about the Zito, you were right about the donuts though. My life is different now. <laughs> you can't see it. I'm orange justice thing right now. <laughs> mm, in my seat while I'm while, while my knees are bent. I just method acted attempting to do that. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> it is your natural state. Uh, that's me. Right on. Got me thinking about these sour cream donuts I had a couple days ago. They were really good. Uh. Mark Allen Jr., where can they find you and what are you up to? Oh gosh, you can find me on Twitter and Blue Sky at Mark Allen Jr. here on Twitch at Aeon Pro Tech Gaming. Find me on TikTok at Mark Allen Jr. VA. Follow my fat cat bunny on Instagram at Chonk for Life. Uh, potentially no stream this Sunday for my three hour music challenge stream. Uh, I will be collecting uh, guests and, and also hopefully sleeping in because the next like three and a half days of my life are going to be non-stop and that's going to be exciting uh and uh but hey uh stream on monday whether that is a severe weather stream with friends or a, a, a total eclipse uh stream with friends uh jump on my channel we're gonna make it happen it's gonna be great that's Ooh. honestly pretty much it for me right on uh Zito, where can they find you? What are you up to? Twitch.tv slash Zito, where I might do more uh, goofy-ass comfort with the community uh, VR chat nights. Uh, come yeah. fight me in Fist of Cuffs and Uno. I bet you won't, you fucking Ooh. coward. Uh <laughs> mm. I bet, yeah, I bet you won't. <laughs> Catch these hands with plus four. Anyway. I get very passionate about Uno, Uno when I play. Ah, good. Then you should join me at some point. Anyway, uh... Tomorrow, streaming-wise, I really got to fucking break into uh, uh, content warning. Oh, I got to check that. Yes. Out. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I, I me and Casey want to play it together, but I also like it's like one of those games where I'm like, I don't have the time at the moment. But once I do, I want to fucking see what this game is all about. So I'm, I'm ready to I am ready to make content. It just needs to happen. Uh, beyond that, I also make content on my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Zito is Nito. Uh, in which case, I made a fuck ton of, uh, yokai races, uh, because I have actually figured out that after the index is done, there's a couple of, like, settings in the index that will be talked about, uh, in, like, 3.0 that actually dictate that there could be, like, an entire realm that's just dedicated to yokai. So... I started getting ahead on that, and I made four playable races. Uh, you can catch them here. If you uh, if you want to get in on the playtest material now, you can uh, head to that page and uh, join the Patreon. Uh, in the future, there will be a small supplement that uh, will you know will be available for uh, five dollars, and then it will be made public. But if you want this content sooner, that's why you join the Patreon. Uh, I am these these. These three characters have eclipsed my fucking, like, artistic brain for the past 72 hours. So I'm going to be drawing more of them. Uh, here, Here's a picture of them. You, you want to be an Oni? I don't give a fuck. Go for it. I'm, I'll make you half Oni. Half Oni. What, so what you, what'd you call it, Zito? The Hanyu, which okay. is what... Ba based on based on what you said, no, 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 he's no. not. It's the disappointing. <laughs> but you listen. No, listen. 
I'm not gonna take full Oni away from you. I'm gonna. I'm just going to give the kids who real who have all the VTuber fucking Oni humanoid <laughs> waifus and husbandos. I'm letting them have a piece of the cake in D and D. I see. I'm, I'm giving them a chance. I'm giving. The, I'm giving them the keys to the to the golden calf here. Hold on. Link to the post. Here you go. <sighs> this is basically what I've been working on. Uh, moderators, please bo uh, ban Zito for posting a link in chat, please. Zito, please ban <laughs> yourself in the Shadow Realm. Oh, I got away with it, but... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, fine. Here for I... completely selfish reasons. <laughs> Alright, fine. Here I... <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. No! Oh, no! You killed him! What did you do to my boy? Zito, Delito. <laughs> <laughs> he returns. That's oh. me. Excellent. If if you if you had a if you had a half monkey half oni, would they be a Hanu Hanyu? Yes. <laughs> I oh actually, my god, dude! Yes. Oh. Or would they Fucking be a Hanyu? Fucking excellent. Ooh. I'm so glad that people are using the terminology from my book. By the Astral Index. <laughs> by, by the Living Index. It's on my Patreon. You can get it now. Updates come free. I would like to build a throne you. Is that possible? Hmm. Yes, sure. Fuck it. Why not? Let's go. The the Hanyu, how I write them in this one. You know what? I'm going to get into the lore. I'm sorry. Can I get into the lore? I'm dying to tell you about the lore, I guess. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, we, we, hmm? we probably should uh, Let continue go, going. Yeah. 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 I'll just, not, I'll just not say to, it like not this. Not to cut you off. Fair enough, but I'll just say this. Think of the Hanyu as vampirism, but for Oni. Ooh. There you, you go. You want more? That... Join the Patreon. Yep, you want more? There join the Patreon. Right on. Uh, Edward Bosco, where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me at Ed Bosco VA on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, and right here on twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. I'm going to be in Wisconsin for four days. Wish me luck. I'm going into Packer territory. Ooh. I'll see you guys on the other side. Don't forget your cheese. Some head. cheese. Yes. Uh, excellent. Monty Glue, where can they find you? What are you up to? You can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue, YouTube Monty Glue, and Blue Sky at Monty Glue. Uh, tomorrow will hopefully be some more Dungeons of the Mad Mage. Um, hey. Bertrand is a accidental misogynist, which is hilarious. Um, they're currently <laughs> Just like in. Zorro. The, yeah, literally, like literally, every time he fights a female Githyanki, he hits more more frequently and gets more crits. And then when he fights a male Githyanki, he hits less and gets more natural ones. It's really funny. Um, but they're also in the middle of a uh, Gith crash right now. They are literally jailbreaking it in like the absolute epitome of the word. It's it's chaos. Uh, so definitely check that out. Uh, and then on, uh, oh my gosh, on Friday is more Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, we're currently in post-game A Realm Reborn MSQ. Uh, it sounds like things are about to get a little, uh, a little uh, seaworthy, rather. Uh, and then Monday, there will not be a Mass Effect stream because Bosco is, uh, has abandoned us. And also, I would like to work on my taxes. So, unfortunately, there will be no... Uh, no stream that day. Jazz hands. Oh. Thank you. If you miss any of my streams, they're all up on YouTube. Check them out. Excellent. Um, as for me, I believe I'm the only one left. They can find me on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Tumblr, and Blue Sky at Distortion Devil. I stream Tuesdays, Fridays, uh, Thursdays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Tomorrow we're going to be playing some more God of War 2018. Uh, we don't really have too terribly much left in that game. So we might be wrapping that up. And then after that is done, we're going to be playing some Dragon's Dogma. Ooh. Uh, yes. The first game? Yes, the first game. And then we'll be going on to the second one. Um, I, I, I want chat to help me create an Arisen. So it'll it'll be our it'll be our child chat, <laughs> uh, but that's that's for then and this is for now. Uh, Dad of boy is uh, boy. still going hard. 
Um, Friday, we're going to be playing some Amogus with the uh, Cherry Crew. Mungi. Mm -hmm. uh, Saturday, before a whole month of Baldur's Gate, uh, we are going to be doing some more Lost Judgment with the one and only Edward Bosco. Huge Monte. Uh, and uh, on Sundays, I'm going to be doing some more Darksiders. Mm, yeah. Uh, also, check out my DMs Guild. I release 5th edition homebrew content. I'm currently working on the Photomancer spellbook for... Those of you arcane casters who want to start casting light and radiant spells, look no further. Uh, but it's it's still in development. I need time to be able to work on it. Um, I believe that's it for me. This episode was brought to you in part by Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Dice! Didn't work, Mark. I'm sorry. Fuck! Why does Discord hate me? Die Hard Dice. Uh, die Hard Dice is your one-stop shop for dice and dice accessories. <laughs> and if you head on over to dieharddice.com, use the code UNEXPECTABLES. You can save 10% on your order when you shop at Die Hard Dice. Go oh, buy the dice. <laughs> buy it. Consume product. And consume dice. No, no. don't. Don't. But not literally. <laughs> That's why I said product. <laughs> Uh, yes. Um, also check out our merch store. We have a bunch of designs on there, including some ones that are in the pipeline. Uh, that you can basically turn into whatever you want. You want apparel, you want accessories, you want mugs, water bottles, uh, stickers. It uh, really great site. Highly recommend it. Uh, and yeah, go pick yourself up some Unexpectables swag. Uh, and last but not least, we couldn't do this week in, week out without bits and subs from viewers like you. Uh, where, where do we leave off? Uh, I think it was Booty Call was the one I was about to read before we stopped. Booty Call and the Jelly Rolls. Mm-hmm. Uh. R.I.P. Sugar Lumps. Uh, booty call and the sugar lumps. No, they're jelly rolls now. Right, jelly rolls. Uh, Pud is such an unfortunate name. It is. Uh, Burnout Vaughn, thank you for the 100 bits. Damn it, Bosco, now I have to go to an anime con for the first time in almost a decade. Uh, what was I that non alcoholic Connor... drink I owe you? <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know either. Yeah, you figure it out. I mean, the semifinals, am I going to post a poll? Oh, well, if you insist. Oh, God. <laughs> since, since you brought it up. Um, lost my place. Uh, Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 20 bits. Bosco, as a fellow Chicago native who grew up in the 90s, which half of the Bulls three Pete did you prefer? Um, that's a tough question, mainly because I think there was more drama in the, the first three Pete. Uh, but I remember the second one better because I was a little bit older and I was there live when they won in 96. I think I was there in 92 as well, but I was smaller. But in 96, I remember it vividly. So I'm going to have to go with the second three Pete for memories alone. Also, Jordan's last shot that he ever made as a basketball player was at the end of that Jazz series, so that's great. He never came back and played for anybody else, which was awesome. It was just <laughs> so nice so of him to just go out. It was so <laughs> nice of him to go out with like a game-winning NBA final shot. So thank you for your question. Oh, the copium. <laughs> hmm? Oh, man. That's legal in California now. Yes, I too love Rajon Ra Rondo's now. last shot in basketball when he was a Celtics player and he never wore another jersey. Wow. I'm pretty sure he played for the Bulls. I'm pretty sure Michael Jordan played believe, for the Bulls. Wizards. Wizards. I can't believe the Prince of Delvaria played basketball. Man, I can't believe this next question is brought to you by... Yarl Barlow. 
Whoa. Uh, Zinlita, thank you for the 100 bits. The other ocean, ocean lords don't go out to sea as much because they only work port time. Got him. I'm with Minus it. four. Plus three. Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 20 bits. Oh. That one got repeated. Okay. Uh, I, I feel like I need to read this. It's, it's only a follow, but I feel like I need to read it anyway. Okay. Uh, 13 Probo Passes. Thank you for the follow. Oh, fuck <laughs> off. That's Yay! Really that's, that's 13 Absols on an alt account, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 10 Ooh, bits. You. When unexpected skins coming to Fortnite so Kai can hit the gritty. <laughs> Yay! God. I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. We... Tell Fortnite to contact us. Dude, if we yeah. get a VR, if we get a Kai VRM, we could do that in Lethal Company. The collab that no one saw coming. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Unexpectables X Fortnite. Uh BTSO, thank you for the 100 bits. Uh, finally joined a stream just in time to watch Connor succumb to his own power and Wark to take over the intro. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good intro. Uh, Callum Draws, thank you for the five bits. I think we forgot the art showcase. Oh, that was uh, probably during the break. During, during the break, during the break. Oh, right, right, right. Somebody, uh, I'm not going to name names, but somebody <laughs> didn't put the But they might be screaming in the background right now as they realize their error. Uh, Mikan Pachi, thank you for the 15 bits. When are we getting unexpectable skins in Fortnite so I can watch Gaius headshot Rick Sanchez while Kai hits the gritty in front of Master Chief? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Tell them to contact our people, and by our people, I mean Connor. I mean, I, I'm working the email. I'm always on there. You're working the right. email? I'm working the email. Oh, he's working it every day. I'm working it and working it and working All it. All right, come on. It it. Fully Cooly 9000, thank you for the 25 bits. Another month of sub and my power grows, Gordon. Lost and made the robot, thank you for the oh, 100 God. bits. Yellow K today? Looks a little silly. It's a little silly. Look, uh, lovely Lorelei, thank you for the 45 bits. Why would you sleep under a chainmail blanket to get a good night's sleep? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Classic. That was cool. The Plus Dungeon six. Run. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the 18 Raiders. The Dungeon the, Run. The Dungeon Run. Uh, run, run, run the run, the 7. Thank you for the 45 run. bits. Wolfling Pup. Thank you for the bit. A smile is a powerful tool. Dice Ruler, thank you for the four bits. Well, guess you're well, Gaius, you're a pirate now. Pulls out dagger. Time to die. <laughs> oh, no, you, no. Oh, oh, you can fucking try. <laughs> oh, you won't see it coming. Sneak attack versus massive AC. Who yeah. will win? Sneak attack versus fucking Wait. the hat. The hat of discipline. Apparently, thirteen Probo passes isn't thirteen Absols. It's Shade One Ed. Thankful, thank, thank you for snitching on yourself. Now I know who to hate more. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Damn. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Oopsie boopsie. Oh my god. Poopsie. Zen Lita, thank you for the one hundred bits. Episode title: Muddle of Pud. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, should we yeah. hold on to that though? Yeah, I kind of want to hold on to that. Put that one in the that holster. In the that, yeah. That's good, but we should hold on to that when we get there. That's Muddle of so Pud? Muddle yes. of Pud. Muddle of Pud. Are you familiar with the band Puddle of Mud? No. Oh. Uh, well, it's still a very. <laughs> well, good. no, we, 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 we got to save that, that one. Appreciate it. We got to save that one for a special I, occasion. I, I, I'll add it into my journal here so I have good, it on Good, 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 good. Booty Don't, call in you... the jelly rolls. Thank you for the 100 bits. Can't wait to see the iconic victory dance. Oh, oh, you saw you saw Smiley Friends too, didn't you? Hold on, I'll do it for free. Ew, ew, ew. <laughs> Veen and Norbius, thank you for the 21 bits. Just finished some fan art as the session ended. Ooh. 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 Yeah, I saw Black... it. It's fucking, it's sick. Blackfoot Ferret, thank you. 
for the one, uh, uh, 1.3 thousand bits. Hashtag work. Uh, Stellar Coyote, thank you for the 100 bits. Bosco versus Arkolf, Beyond Thunder Dad. Oh Two dads God. enter, yeah. one dad leaves. Beyond Let's Thunder go. Dad. <laughs> You're really uh, going to get Beyond Thunder Dad. Callum Draws, thank you for the 50 bits. Episode title, Divided Factions. Mm. Okay. Messenger of Chaos, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Uh, episode title, Insight Edition. I like that. That's, That's pretty very good. good. I like that. That one's good. That's very good. <laughs> what was it? Daniel Sorry, Bone. Reading something. Insight there, Edition. Insight Edition. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, that's really good. Daniel Bonin, thank you for the 500 bits. Could you play the intro again for those of us who didn't hear it the first time? It'll be in the VOD. It'll Don't be worry. on the VOD, yeah. I'll also post the version into the Discord, so if you're not in the Unexpectables Discord, jump in there. Yeah, if you're not in the Unexpectables Discord, why? Why? Yeah, why? In fact, why? I'll throw it over uh, there right now. Uh, Gauze21, thank you for the 10 bits. Uh, Mafia Don Zito and his capo, Edward Bosca. Hey! You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding. I'm going to send my baby Zuzu at you. Dom DeLuise does The Godfather. This is bad. I'm having trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Those words, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, will, I will say also, when the intro played and everyone did their cub, but then immediately flipped back to work instantly, I was so proud of you. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, yeah. I was like wait, what? Yeah. Alert! Abort mission. <laughs> there was very few like, wait, what's going on? It was like immediately everyone's like, work! It just immediately that, started scamming it. It was really fun. That, that, that was a very like Robin Williams skit. Should we go to phase two? No, do not go to phase two! <laughs> <laughs> Callum Draws, thank you for the 20 bits. What's Ranger's favorite type of joke? A knock-knock joke. Mm. Mm. Minus 50. Oregon native, thank you for the 100 bits. Taxation is theft. Mm. Oh, and Callum Draws, thank you. Uh, thank you for the 20 bits. What's another name for a dad bod? A father figure. Yes. Okay, that redeemed my, my minus 50. Very Jeez. happy with that. <laughs> it's pretty good. Good work. All right, who do we want to raid? I have uh, a suggestion for someone. Sure. I, I, have I, mentioned, I mentioned it in general. Uh, he's a buddy of mine who is also a DM. He is currently like actually improving himself in his artwork. Uh, he's having a little bit of a financial hit, and he only has like twenty people. I think he oh, really yeah. could use a pump. Hell yeah, let's do it. This is Skeleton Alpha. You may have seen him in my streams. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Yeah, dude. Dude actually is like one of the best folks who like he. I'm not saying this because just to be biased, but he does like use a lot of homebrew like me. Like we're just basically like same brain cell when it comes to looking up new content for like other games and modding stuff. So I, I, I think he deserves a nice hit. I think our raid message should be insight with a bunch of question marks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Throwing a couple exclamation marks for good just measure. Scare the shit out. And if you're in my chat, Whoa. if you have a Scootal emote, by all means. Dude, he, is a he is a skeleton. Uh, I just want to make sure his name is. I, I want to make sure because is is Skelet Alpha. It's uh, S K E L E T Alpha. All right, let's go. Hopefully that worked. Yep, that that's good. Him. Yep, we're good. All right, see you guys next In, week. Inside. Bye bye. Is skeletal fun made with bone broth? <laughs> <laughs>